Oh, hey, look at that. It's Persona 4 Golden. Oh my god, let me move this out of my way. There we go. Dun, bum, bum. Oh shit. Wrong button. Oh my god, I am so tired. Uh we were level 80 before, right? The first of I'm sorry, I'm I'm in my fucking mind right now. January 10th. Is that where we left off at? It should be, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it is. I'm not crazy, right? I'm not crazy this time. Uh Yosuke, speak Yo. to me. Hey, you. Looks like you're all better now. Maybe. Inaba Snow is no joke. So be sure to dress warmly, okay? Yosuke, you better be dressing warmly. I, I was supposed to have a joke for that, but I didn't. I couldn't think of one fast enough. All right. Welcome back. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome back to more Persona 4 Golden. I may seem very out of it at the moment. That's because I'm very out of it at the moment. I literally just woke up probably five minutes ago. Um, I'm 30 minutes late to my own stream, but that's okay, because I can stream how long, uh, for as long as I want, at the current times, within the current times that we live in, at the current moments, within the current times. Uh, the wonderful times, within the current times, at the current moment, that are in the current times that we are currently in right now. I can stream for however long I please. Uh, <laughs> I gotta warm myself up, you know? I just gotta talk nonsense. That's what I gotta do. Something I gotta do. Alright. How we doing it with our with our characters? Fellow athletes. They're looking cool. They're looking gravy. They're looking nice. Jesus. <laughs> I feel so fucking tired. Maybe because that's due to lack of sleep or lack of carbs. For the past couple of days, I have been, uh, I have been doing lower carbs in my diet than usual. So I am, I am feeling it. <laughs> I'm really feeling it, as Shulk would say from the Xenoblade. All right, leave the school. Yes, I would love to do that. So, I believe last time in Persona 4, we kicked the Dachi's ass, uh, ass, right? We kicked his, kicked his behind, threw him out the door, said, get out of here, stop being a bad guy, get out of here. Why are you even bad? Stop being bad. Don't be a bad guy. Just because you're a bad guy doesn't mean you're a bad guy, yeah? That's what Zangief told me. That's an important lesson that we all need to learn. I am rambling. I am rambling. This is this is the true rambles of a madman. That's what I'm doing at the current moment. All right. Almost got a million yen. Oh my fucking god, Daidora! How? What the hell, man? Stop it. Get some help. Talk to me. You want something special? Bring me your own materials and all. Okay. Just making sure I don't gotta get nothing from you at the current moment for uh, Hisano. Because at some point I'm going to have to run my ass over here and talk to you. And just look at you. Anything in the velvet room for me at the current moment? No. No, there's not. There's nothing. There's nothing. If you thought there was something, you were mistaken, my friend. You were mistaken and you were wrong. Alright. So we kicked the Dachi's ass, right? And, you know, it's after New Year's. After Christmas. It is the, uh... The tin, as you can see up there. And that means we gotta we got some work to do. Cause the game isn't over yet. Even though we call it the true culprit and we and it's over. So one thing we need to start doing is we gotta hang out with our teammates again. 
buddy. That's what we gotta do. And we get to pick whoever the fuck we want to hang out with. Once you hit the month of January, you get an extra event here in Persona 4 Golden. Um, I'm you know what? I'm actually I'm gonna run up to Rize because she's always the hardest for me to fucking find whenever I need to do shit. Uh, do not be warned. Uh, do not be warned. Do not be uh, scared. You do not need any persona by your side to level up this social link. You just need to hang out with them at the current moment. Oh, Senpai, you're better. Jeez, I was already worried about you. You better make up for... for uh, you better make for it... Uh, damn it, I can't even read. You better make up for it by spending lots of time with me. That's cool. Oh, Senpai. Oh, Senpai. I'm gonna learn everything about myself. I'll become stronger too, so I can accept all the bad things about me and not run away. That's great, Rize. Thank you, Senpai, for finding me. I feel that the bond you share with Rize is something that can never be replaced. That's what you think, game. <laughs> you feel that you cannot possibly be any closer to Rize. Will you spend the rest of the day with her? Uh, I might actually need to reload this. <laughs> I'm gonna... I should be able to... Is, is Right now should be the current time, right? Yeah, I was actually holding back a little while I asked. Um, hey, I'd have to go to your room. And then, could we cuddle again? What? Cuddle, that's what we call it? Is what we calling it? Your room. <laughs> I'm back! This is the only place we can relax together. But it's still kind of embarrassing being alone together. So, I want to make you even happier and happier. Oh hey. Oh hey hey. We passed a long while at Rize. You feel tight? Oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, wait a minute. Hold up. Ah, oh, I guess you can't do it yet. Teddy went outside. Teddy, stop! Stop! Stop progressing the story! Stop it! What are you doing? Get back in here, you dumb fucking bear. Stop it. Aw, oh, damn it. Stop. Pay no mind. <laughs> Pay no mind to what you're looking at. Take your eyes away. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's not what we're supposed to be doing at the current moment. That never happens. You never saw anything. That never happened. Okay. I kind of jumped the gun a little bit. Just a little bit, just a smidge. You don't need to hang out with them yet. You can ignore your teammates, ignore them. Instead, I'm gonna hang yeah. out with the athletes. Hey, you, you're gonna practice, right? I feel my relationship. Fuck you, Ko. You dumb little son of a bitch. Now, who the fuck am I gonna hang out with? I thought I can rank him up. Saki's brother, oh shit, yeah. Saki's brother. The young mother, tor uh, tortured student. I don't know why I keep calling him tortured student. Maybe because I feel tortured whenever I hang out with them. <laughs> All right, shit. Is I down here? Did we skip I? Did we pass I? Are you hiding down here? Oh damn it, you're not. Mm. What persona am I holding on to? This is hanged man, right? Yeah, hanged. Okay, I'm gonna go look for Naoki actually. Naoki, are you hanging out at the liquor store, man? Getting your buzz on? Getting your buzz off? I don't know what that means, but, you know, could be something. We can find out together. Oh. Oh, hey, you. It's not gonna fucking. What the hell? What is with you fuckers and not advancing your damn social links? What? Why do you guys hate me so much? Young mother. I guess I can hang out with Yumi. Maybe. Maybe I can hang out with Yumi. Oh, shit. I have a son, right? I have a son. Wow. The way the way that was worded. Congratulations. I meant I have a son arcana persona. That just felt like I said a bunch of fucking words and just put them all together. God damn it. The true ramblings of a madman. Alright. 
Compendium. Or Compendium, however you want to pronounce it. It's up to you. I don't judge. Just let it be known that I'm making comments, though. May not be judging. Does mean I can't make comments. You're not gonna get a score from me. But I'm definitely gonna talk shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, fuck, I'm losing my mind here. Alright, Yasugami High School. Yumi, if you don't want to hang out with me, I'm gonna fucking- I'm gonna be so fucking mad. Cause then that means everybody in this damn game hates me. Hey Squish, how's it going? I'm currently losing my mind. Hey! Hey you, practice this today. You're gonna come, right? Hey, she wants to hang out. Alright, cool. Good job, Yumi. Good job. You're so depressing and alone, Yumi, that I'm happy that you want to hang out with me. <laughs> My brain ain't work good today. <laughs> it do not work good at the current moment. Because I'm still in the process of waking up. Thoroughly practice exper uh, experience. God damn it. I already fucked up the word. You, cur uh, you thoroughly practice expressing a variety of emotions. David Cage would be proud of you. And then he would cry in front of the courtroom. And say how he just a man who wants to make video game with all emotion. I know it's a bit early, but we're at a good place to stop. Why don't we call it a day? No! The bell hasn't rung yet. Well, guess what, Yumi? Just like annoying teachers in high school, the bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you, okay? And now, I'm dismissing of you. Get out my face, Yumi. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you wanna quit early? You're slacking off. You need to take this more seriously. Said Jared Leto. And then everybody poked at, poked fun at him and said, Haha, your Joker sucks. You gotta cut out the movie. Haha, you suck. Haha. Yumi's definitely the type of person that would do fucking uh, method acting, right? Like, come on. <laughs> Yumi, maybe you've been working too hard. I feel like I'm the only one who cares about this club. Stop holding us back. The reason you never get any lead roles is because you act like that. Yumi. What do you mean? The re she gets lead roles because fucking she's fucking the director, you mean? What the hell are you talking about? That's Hollywood, baby. Oh. It is time to go home. Please don't forget anything. Look, it's time to go home now. Anyways, let's all just stop for the day, alright? Okay. Yumi stands silent and unmoving. Was I wrong when I said that? It was the it was how you said it. You started whining and throwing a tantrum. For some reason you kept yelling I am a man at the top of your lungs to show the world how strong you are. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I, pr I practice controlling my emotions in this club, and it still doesn't help me in real life. Almost like every drama student that I knew. I'll keep practicing at the riverbank or somewhere. Oh, don't go to the riverbank, that's where that little creature Ayane lives. Little troll under the fucking bridge. Don't go there, she'll start swiping at you with her fucking saxophone. Is that what she plays? <laughs> anywhere, anywhere but home. Uh. Something wrong, Yumi? No, but thanks. There's nobody at my house. I know the feeling, Yumi. Everybody I know is in the hospital. Mom's been going straight to the hospital after work to see him. There's no real point in going home now. Yeah, there is. Invite a boy over. Have fun. Play the music loud. A little too loud. Let it get suspicious for a bit. <laughs> when I'm by myself at home, I can't stop thinking about all that stuff. The past. Why things turned out the way they did, you know? I thought I'd forgotten them. Sorry. I've just been whining. Just forget about this, okay? I can't forget! That's not very nice. That's mean. Can't you be a little nicer to a girl? Maybe. Maybe I can. Just a little bit. I have my acting. That's how I can keep going. No matter what happens, I'll go on. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you, you. If I was by myself, I'd been down in the dumps for a while. I just know it. So, um, I'm glad you were here. I hope you'll stick around for a while longer. 
Oh, Yumi, don't you know that you're my last... The last person I want to hang out with at the current moment. <laughs> Poor Yumi. I'm gonna stop somewhere on my way home and practice some more. I finally got a lead role. I have to make sure I can do it. All right, let's All right. go for it. Good luck with that, Yumi. I'll see you at school. You might see me at school. You might not. I might ditch. I might be ditching with I. You don't know. Welcome home. Oh, that's right. I heard from Nanachan a while back that you're raising vegetables. <laughs> Define the term raising, Teddy. Do you mean watching them die slowly? Then yeah. It's not fair. I want to grow veggies, too. Teddy went outside. You can hear Teddy's voice. Woo! It's cold. What's this? What's this? What's this? There's white things everywhere. <laughs> Sensei, look at this. Come on, dig with me. Oh, hold on. It's cold. So I'll go change. You just got better, so you better dress warm. Smart move, Teddy. That's smart. You're smart. You're a smart guy. I should dress warm. Here, here, try digging here. Look, Sensei, something's coming out. You found a hibernating bug in the ground. Stag beetle, dynamo grasshopper, Genji beetle, dynamo grasshopper. So when it snows, bugs bury in, uh, shit, bury. Bugs burrow into the ground. <laughs> They're so shy. I bet Nanachan will be surprised when, when I tell her we harvest a bug. Sensei, my hands are getting cold. We can't have uh, you getting sick again, can we? Let's go back inside and warm up with the Kotatsu. That was fun. My hands are freezing. We aren't able to raise any vegetables. But it was fun. Let's do it again sometimes. And by again sometimes, I mean never. Because there's no reason for me to. I can tutor tonight. That's great. I should do that. Oh my god, the cat's just laying out here in the snow? Jesus, at least go under the fucking... At least go under the goddamn, uh, you know, thing for the car or the garage. I don't fucking know. I don't know what to call it. Don't just sleep on the street getting snowed on, fucking cat. God damn it. So depressing. Do I have a tower persona? I think this is a tower, yeah? Yes. Okay. I will hang out with Shu. Or as I like to call him, Yeezys. That's his nickname. He helps you study. He thoroughly explained the materials. You feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. That's cool. That's great. That's cool. That's fun. That's awesome. Alright, what the hell was that about, video game? Why'd you... Why'd you, like, slow down for a bit? Yumi, do not walk up to me. Oh! Yukiko! Um, How are you? You got some time after school today? There's something I like your opinion on, so anyways, I just hope you're free. Seems Yumi wants to talk about something. She wants to talk about... I don't know, actually. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, but I, I couldn't come up with anything. Senpai! Senpai, you're not busy today, right? No plans at, at all, right? There's something I want to talk to you about. And you're the only one I can rely on, so I hope you can make it. Kanji wants to talk to me about something. I'll think about it, Kanji. Teddy! There you are, Sensei. It's been a while since I came to school. Every day is great here, after all. Hmm, there's something I want to talk to you about. Man-to-man -man talk. Just between the two of us. If you have time, come by, come by Junez. Fingers crossed, Sensei. Seems that Teddy wants to talk about something. Oh shit. It's gotta be serious. Teddy's walking up to me. Nato! Good day. Hello, you. Oh, I'm sorry. That was odd. I was daydreaming there for a second. You just walked up to me, started licking your lips, talking about, mm -hmm. oh my god. That's a whole ass man. <laughs> In any case, if you're free after school, I'd like you to come with me somewhere. Well then. 
Now I couldn't help herself. She stared at me and started daydreaming. Put her in a daze. She was like, what do I do with this? <laughs> All right. Oh my God, the hallways are empty. <laughs> That's a little startling to see that. Jesus. All right. So now we can, oh, now I wants to fucking come out from the shadows. Good job. Now we can hang out with some of the teammates. Let's get those damn persona, shall we? Uh, Yukiko's usually here all the goddamn time, so I'm actually gonna go talk to Kanji. Feel like he'd be the hardest to track down. You know, until Rizai shows up. Yo. Yeah. Sup, you senpai? You're bored today, right? Maybe. Right? You're seriously like the only one I can talk to, heart to heart. Uh, think of it as helping a friend out. I'm begging you. Seems Kanji wants to talk to you about something. Will you spend the afternoon with Kanji? I will. By the way, a bit of a heads up, my dogs are currently inside of a cage. Uh, they, they were being bad today. I had to put them in a little jail. So, you might hear some scratchy scratch sounds now and again. I apologize for that. Wait, that ain't what I mean. I just, wait, what the fuck you said, Kanji? I wasn't paying attention. Wait, that's not what I mean. I just want to talk about something. It ain't for anyone else to hear, so, uh... Anyways, let's go already. We're heading to your place. Kanji's definitely the type of guy that walks in your house and goes like, Man, what you got in the fridge? <laughs> you're like, Kanji, do it in my house. Eating a big-ass sandwich and shit. Kanji asked you to come over despite any plans you had, so you brought him here. Sorry for barging in like this. I wanted to talk to you, or, well, more like I wanted to ask you something. Alright. Shoot for the moon, baby. Kanji's fidgeting for some reason. You know, well, uh, it, it's about a present. What would be, uh... Oh, okay, let me start over. I want to give someone a present. Okay. I don't know what they'd like, so I thought I'd ask for your advice. It, it, it's for a woman. Woo! Kanji! Decided to confess your love, huh? C confess my love? T t to who? To the woman, of course. Um, I want to give it to Ma. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> She's a woman, but, uh, Kanji. <laughs> Let's see. I think anything would work. That's what makes it so hard. There's got to be something it wouldn't be a good idea to give her. A slap on the wrist? I, I don't know. Kanji seems desperate. I am begging you. I have no idea what to give her. I want to be damn sure Mom's happy with it. I should tell you. Ma went to the hospital. Oh. What happened? Oh, it was just for an exam, though. She's out already and doing totally fine. Okay. But the tests seemed like they were rough on her, so I want to give her something like a hospitality award. <laughs> that, that's a lame-ass joke. <laughs> hospitality award. Uh, how nice of you. Stop teasing me. I'm not teasing. It's a nice thing to do. I went to go visit her while she was there. It was hard for me to see her in that hospital, though. When I was there, Ma looked at me and said, You've changed. She said, Your father and I are proud of you, son. Kanji's eyes are shining. They're shining? What the fuck? Kanji's eyes are slightly red. Pretty funny, huh? I ain't too bright and I keep causing her all this trouble. And she says she's proud of me. Kanji's voice is shaking. I mean, I'm, I'm the one who should be proud of her. She raised a punk like me without a single complaint and worked herself to the bone, and no one thanked her for it. I just... I feel like I need to give her some encouragement now and then. <laughs> Getting kind of leaky here. Ma was right, though. I have changed. It was because I got to know you guys. Until I met you, I was so mad that people saw me as some weirdo that I tried to get back at anyone who looked at me funny. 
I wasn't holding my head up high. I wasn't proud of myself. But getting to know you better made me realize something. I don't think it matters what kind of guy I am. As long as I can hold my head up high, Ma's gonna be proud of me. You know, unless you're a murderer, but I mean, yeah, Kanji, that's, that's the ticket. Still, I want to become someone that Ma and you guys can be proud of. So I'm gonna spend my life keeping myself in check to make sure I don't lose my way again or start lying to myself. Kanji smiling, smiling? What the fuck is wrong? Wake up, brain! God damn it! <laughs> I can't read. I can't speak. Kanji smiling cheerfully. Kanji's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. Kanji's persona has been reborn again. Ruko- uh, fuck. Rukuten Maho has transfigured into... Ta fuck, god damn it. Uh, the what? <laughs> Takeji? Takeji. Zaiten. Yes. We're gonna go with that one. Those mean ass shoulder pads and that super mustache. Kaji wants to learn the man's way. May flake dizzy and down on all foes. That's amazing, Kanji. But to be fair, it's a garbage ability. And I don't want it. It sounds cool. But it's kind of trash. New power. This must be another me, huh? And I'll keep changing however I want to from here on out. I... I want to fight for others instead of just for myself. I'd rather die protecting something that matters than worrying if I can win the fight. I think that's the way to be. And one day, I hope I can be strong enough to protect you too. I'll be counting on it, Kondry. I mean, be Take fair, Kanji. Man to say that, sensei. You're already kind of strong. I mean, go. if I if I'm about to die, you'll drop kick me out the way. Kanji smiling with the fierce determination. Well then, let's make that gift. Huh? My present to Ma. I got some tools for you to work with too. What the fuck? How did you wrap me up in this? It's cold out now, so maybe something warm for when she goes to sleep would be good. Hey, how about a crocheted hugging pillow you can put a hot water bottle inside? I'll call it a, a warmy yarny. <laughs> warmy yarny. If we work together on it, it'll be a masterpiece. Ma always seems to like it when I tell her stories about you, so she'll love this. Man, I'm glad I asked you, senpai. Wasn't this a great idea? I don't think... I wouldn't want to go to bed with a warm water bottle. A warm water bottle? What the fuck are you going to do with a warm water bottle? What? Night fell and you saw a kanji off. What are you gonna do with a warm water bottle? Oh, Sensei's home! Isn't the idea of a body pillow supposed to be it already warms up your whole body because there's a giant ass pillow that you fucking hug? You go to sleep, you hug it like it's a big ass teddy bear? I, would, I don't think I would want to go to sleep with a water bottle. <laughs> you turn the wrong way, the cap comes loose. It becomes a disaster real quick. And then since it's a warm water bottle, it might, it might end up being like, you know when people put other people's hands in warm water when they're sleeping? And then they start pissing themselves. <laughs> it might have the same effect. Uh, can I tutor tonight, actually? I wasn't paying attention. Let me see. No, I can't. Okay, well then I'm gonna head down to the shrine. And I... am actually gonna pull out one... for Ko and Daisuke. Male classmates. Sports club team. Great blessings. Relationship will not become stronger yet. What the fuck? 
then what's so great about the blessing? Yosuke! What's up? Oh, you. Perfect timing. I mean, it is school. If you got no plans today, want to hang out later? I'm off work today and I kind of want to take it easy. Well, think about it. See you later, Yosuke. Maybe. Hi, GA. Yo! Why are you wearing a skirt in the middle of winter? It makes no sense. Okay. Hey, you. Uh, you got some time today? I feel like getting some ex- Fuck. God, I'm losing my mind. I feel like getting some exercise. It'd be real- It'd be real great if you came along. If you're busy, though, that's okay. Just let me know later if you're up for it. That was smooth, Chie. That was a smooth interaction. Yumi, get the fuck out of here! I don't care! I'm sorry, I'm just kinda tired. Oh, hey, I practiced today. I'll see you later. Who the fuck starts a conversation like that? <laughs> you just walk up to someone and you go, ah, Aren't you gonna ask me what's wrong? <laughs> like, what? Yumi, I need you to know that... That you're not my priority at the moment. Alright. Let's see, who the fuck am I gonna hang out with? The Yosuke... Kanji... Thinking about it. Maybe you and me? Mm. Did I say Yumi? My bad. I, I looked at Yukiko and I said Yumi. What the fuck's wrong with me? Um You know what? Actually. I'll kick it back with Chie. Chie, speak to me. Oh, you got some time today? I was hoping you could come train with me. Well, I say training, but it's more like I just want to get some exercise. And I want to spend time with you while I still can. Will you spend the afternoon with Chie? I will. Yeah! Okay. Okay, then let's go. Chie seems happy, as she should be. Because it's me we're talking about, baby. Simagawa Riverbank, you decided to train with Chie. <laughs> My moves are as sharp as always! I guess this is more my thing after all. Oh. My shoulders were stiff because I've been doing stuff lately that I'm not used to. Damn, girl. You moving like that? Okay. Stuff you're not used to? You want a massage? Hey. Huh? No, that's okay. No thanks. No, I insist. When Yukiko gave me one the other day, I got so ticklish that I almost died laughing. <laughs> I wish I was there to see it. <laughs> Chie seems flustered. Actually, I was... Oh, you promise you won't laugh? I was studying and stuff. You fucked up your shoulders by studying? What did you do? What happened? <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> I started to think studying's kind of fun. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Just a smidge. Thinking about Adachi-san made me wonder if he was just weird. Or if he was right. <laughs> she was like, you know what? I was kind of thinking about Adachi a little bit. He said, he said, if you just want to carry a gun, just become a police officer. And I'm like, you know what? But then I thought, if my life had been different... I could have been just like him. Maybe everybody could. I realize that no matter how trivial something seems, it's related to my life. And that scared me. That's why during history class, it hit me suddenly that the history we were studying was all connected to me. That's crazy, Chie. Want to know something else that might scare you? Hey, everything that humanity will ever do in the course of history is nothing but a drop of water in the fucking whole entire universe. Get that in your fucking head now. See, now you're a nihilist. The people back then, the things they did, their culture, it's all connected. And it's tied to me too. And it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it's not just something that happened a long time ago in a faraway country. Real people laughed, 
cried and died there. Math and physics, too. They may not make any sense to me, but they're things I can use to help me understand the world. And when I thought about them that way, I got the urge to study harder. But it still didn't make any sense to me. So I'd give up, and then I'd come back to it again. It's an endless cycle. Chia's like, wow, did you know if you, like, put your phone down and didn't stare at a fucking wall of text every five seconds that you would then open a book and stare at another wall of text? But this time you would learn shit? That's crazy. <laughs> I'm good for nothing after all, huh? You sure are, you little uselessness. <laughs> you want me to help out? I am a bit of an expert. Sure. I know I'll understand better with you explaining to me. Chase excited. My way of thinking has changed a lot over this past year. But I think what changed the most is that I like this town now. I didn't hate it before, but it didn't really mean anything to me. Now, though, I realize that everyone is here. Yukiko, Yosuke, even you. All my friends and family. It was the people I believed in that gave me the strength to see the case through. So even if some other weird thing shows up again, I'll be okay as long as everyone's with me. If I believe in them and myself, I can always find a path. That's what I think. She is beaming. Shining bright, even like a diamond. I always forget what her fucking ultimate persona is. Chie's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. Oh shit. Chie's persona has been reborn again. Suzuka Goken has transfigured into... Har fuck god damn it. Har Har Harido no Okami? I don't know how to pronounce that first name. God damn it. Alright. Chie learns Dragon Hustle. Creatures parties attack, defense, and hit evasion. This is fucking one of the best abilities in a goddamn game. It's basically a heat riser for the whole entire party. And it's given to the character who has the least fucking magic. That's great. Alright. What the hell am I getting rid of for this shit? Uh. I want to get rid of. Oh, oh, shit. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. It's up, pupil. Get rid of it. Get that dragon hustle. Is this power mine? It sure is. I wonder if this will help me do more to protect the ones I love. That includes you too, you know. Since I love you. Ah, oh, it's fun hanging out with you too, Shia. <laughs> protect me. <laughs> Did that sound like I was proposing to you? Uh, yeah, it wasn't meant as a proposal. That's what you think. Now I got you in the trap. Haha, -ha. now you gotta sign this legal document. <laughs> I guess it did. You can sense Chie's unconditional love. Until Valentine's Day. <laughs> you spent time talking with all sorts of things with Chie. Until it became dark out and then you went home. And no one had sex that night. You're home! I am home, Teddy. I can work as a tutor tonight. I'm gonna do that. That is something that I will do. I don't see why not. Where will you go? To the shopping district, of course. Alright. Talk to me, Shu. So I can unlock that beautiful beautiful Hasotobi. About this. I've memorized this formula, but what exactly does it mean in real life? Nothing, Shu. It means nothing. You began to explain the problem to him in an easy to understand manner. Alright, get this shit. One plus one. Sometimes it might not be two. <laughs> Just start talking nonsense. These equations can be used in a bunch of different situations, huh? The people who came up with them are geniuses. I wish I was a genius. Well, uh... Work hard and you can be, buddy. Yay. You can become a genius through hard work. I thought you had to be born one. Eh. 
IQ is weird. Your IQ isn't, uh, it isn't how much you know. Your IQ isn't your knowledge, it is your ability to obtain knowledge. I've already, I've already been trying pretty hard in my opinion. It's still not enough. Chu thanks to himself. I'm sorry, I've been tired all day today. You and me both, buddy. Can we finish the rest of this lesson next time? She looks pale. Mister! Let's change the subject to something else. What's up? The other day on the TV, I saw some crazy shit. Yes. They always talk about what happened on some show or another. I don't watch that kind of stuff, so I never know what they're talking about. What do you do, Shu? Because I feel like when you're not studying, you're just staring at a wall. I'm sorry. It looks like we're already out of time. Thank you very much. Thanks for talking with me today. I think I was able to relax a little. I'd like to hear some more later. It seems that Shu is opening up to you. You feel that your relationship with Shu has grown even deeper. Rank 7. Then, goodbye. Please then, come back again. Then goodbye. Who does that? Who says goodbye like that? Then goodbye. <laughs> it's so weird. Hi, Rize. Oh, Senpai. Oh, hey, Senpai. If you're free after school, I want us to hang out. So I'll be waiting for you. Damn, Rize, that was smooth. <laughs> that was, it wasn't even like, hey, you know, it's, you want to hang out or anything, you know, I'll be over here. She's like, eh, I kind of want to hang out. I'll be waiting for you. See ya. She's been practicing that one. She's been practicing that one. That's crazy. <laughs> she said exactly what she wanted to say and got out of there. Guess what, Rize? Where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> Why is the hallway empty? <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess... But, but, you know... A rule of thumb here. Since no one else is on this fucking floor, I'll hang out with you. Oh, Senpai. Um, I got another letter from the girl the other day. Senpai, there's something I'd like for you to hear. Alright, Rizé. Thank you, Senpai. Shoot for the moon. hill overlooking town. Was it okay to come out today? Did you have anything you needed to do? I'm doing it right now. Rize has a meek expression on her face. You remember when I told you before that I had a number one fan? A girl who was being bullied and would send me letters? She sent me another letter. She says she's going to stop being my fan. Oh no! She's made friends with someone, but... Her new friend is a fan of someone else. Uh, it seems she was told something like, I'll quit being your friend if you stay a Rosette fan. Oh, that's not good. She did say that she'll be cheering for me in her heart, but she won't be sending me any more letters. How the fuck does that work? <laughs> what? Dude, you don't like, you're telling me you don't like Naruto? We can't be friends. Believe it. You got another fan right here. You mean you, Senpai? I mean, maybe. Kind of met the bugs in the dirt, but okay. <laughs> you really are kind. You see tears in Rize's eyes. Relationships between people are difficult, aren't they, Senpai? There's something like a mutual respect between her and me. I don't even know what she looks like, but I know she has a pure heart. I also know that she's persistent. Apparently she's not persistent enough to look at her friend and be like, you're really gonna stop being friends with me because I, I like a singer? I don't know, I don't think she's persistent, Rizzi. I think your definition of persistent might be a little different from mine. But when another person enters the picture, things suddenly get complicated. Throw in four or five people and it's pure chaos. There's no malice involved, and it's no one's fault. Yet, we end up hurting each other, becoming lost. There's no malice involved. I'm sorry, Rize. I'm sorry. 
I'll quit being your friend if you stay a Reset fan. Hello, Rize. You, you all right over there? It, it makes me so tired sometimes. No malice. Rize gazes into the distance. But that's why I want to keep trying my best. I mean, I am an idol after all. All right. Well, yeah, that's admirable of you, I guess. Going through all that pain. Thanks. Being an idol. An idol isn't some doll in a window being held up for public display. But it is, though. It literally is. That's what that whole industry is. That's why the industry is actually pretty bad. I think it means somebody who can endure things and stand their ground, no matter which way they're pushed. I mean, so long as can just shut up and get smacked around. Even if that girl doesn't write me letters, I bet she'll still watch me if I'm on TV. I can be her strength, as well as many other people's strengths. Even though many things may not go my way and I may be troubled, swept off my feet and get lost, I won't lose. I have to protect the smiles of the people who are precious to me. That's the resolve I found after meeting all of you. Reza, I get what you're saying, but the way you got there doesn't make any sense at all. You're constantly contradicting yourself, actually. Reza smiles cheerfully. I love how Reza's just like, you know what? Maybe it's not that bad getting abused by the system. <laughs> like, maybe I'll just be an idol again and not eat anything for, for days. Go through grueling exercises, constantly get yelled at because I dance with two left feet. <laughs> Rize's hard having developed over this difficult year attains greater power. Rize's persona has been reborn again. Kozion has transfigured into. into. Ko wait, what? Oh, Kanzeon. My bad. I called her Kozion? Shit. Well, Ko Kanzeon is now Kozion. Complete analysis. Hell yeah. Yeah, I can tell. I sense a power inside of me that I didn't have before. I've learned so many important things from the people I hold dear to me. Senpai, I feel like my heart is about to burst. I'm so excited about the future now. All right, Hank Hill, calm down. <laughs> uh, I'm about to bust. Hardship and sadness and everything, it can all be changed into the power to take a step forward. I'm still just getting started. You and everyone else, you're all going to keep changing too, in your own ways. That's why I'm not scared of a long-distance relationship either. When I'm lonely, my love for you will grow stronger. And when I smile on TV, I'm smiling for you. So you smile too, Senpai. And tell me you love me every once in a while, okay? Damn, girl, you really started asking for a lot out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit. I love how she snuck that in there. She's like, oh, and you're definitely, like, definitely gonna be part of this long distance relationship. Oh, and you're gonna watch every broadcast. Oh, by the way, call me constantly. <laughs> like, you snuck that in there. Good job, Rize. Oh, Sensei's home. Oh, uh, you can work as a janitor. All right, well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna go pull a fortune. That was masterful. That was an art. She perfected that shit. All right, sports club. Come on, baby, gotta rank you up. You feel you've gotten a little closer to Kone Daisuke. Will not become stronger yet. What the fuck, man? What do I gotta do for them to like me more? I gotta suck their dicks or something? <laughs> I'll do it. Let's get ready for the first lecture of the day. Did you all get to relax during your winter break? I had too much to drink during a New Year's party, so I was hungover all New Year's Day. I mean, I was like pissing myself. 
while we're on the subject of alcoholic beverages, there's something interesting about the to Toso? Okay. Toso we drank on New Year's. Who might know this? Ah, Yucha. Okay. Toso is a traditional drink for the New Year's, but what does the name actually mean? Uh, fuse the demons. Bury the demons, yeah? Good for you, that's correct. The Toso is symbolic of burying demons. The word Toso is made up of two characters, one meaning burial and the other meaning demon. However, no matter what it means, watch out not to have too much. It's an alcoholic, wait, what? It's an alcoholic after all. I guess that makes sense, literally. literally. People will laugh at you if they hear that you got hung over while trying to perform a good luck ritual. You gave the answer. Correct answer. That kid besides Yukiko is the moot. Wait, what? I wasn't paying attention. What, was there something happening? <laughs> I'll pay attention next time. What was he doing? Fucking... He was basically sleeping on his desk. Oh. <laughs> I would do that in school sometimes. Just go to sleep. They couldn't stop me. I mean, they could, but I wouldn't listen. <laughs> You're like, you can't sleep. You're like, you can't sleep in class. I'll be like, all right, well, then can I go to the nurse's office? Because I'm going to sleep in the nurse's office. Like, I'm already ahead of the fucking... I'm already ahead of the class by, like, five lessons. I don't need to be here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Uh, Raphael is lovers. Your star's lover. Oh, no. Why do I have so many fucking lovers on me? God damn it. Let me go grab strength. Maybe that would, uh... Maybe then Daisuke and Ko would want to fucking hang out with me. Wait. I, I, f I forgot how to do the menu already. I don't know what the hell happened in my brain. Sandman! Mr. Sandman! Mr. Sandman. <laughs> Why am I going to the bus stop? What the fuck's wrong with me? I'm losing my mind here playing this game. Alright. Oh, wait. Why am I even trying to fucking hang out with the sports guys? I gotta hang out with the, the teammates. Uh, Rize's good. Nato. Actually, Nato, get over here. Oh, Yusan. Uh, if you don't have any plans, perhaps you'd like to spend some time with me. It's nothing serious, but there's no, uh, there's something I'd like for you to hear. All right, Nato. You have my gratitude. As you have mine. I wish to take another look at this town with you while you're still here. So I got my riverbank. This place is covered in snow, too. It's chilly, but I like the winter and its tranquility. I like the winter. And autumn. Things have become so peaceful lately. I finally feel like I've gotten used to it. The people of Inabar are thinking about the events that transpired, and are making an effort to make the town better. That sounds great. I've heard that a lot of local government projects are being considered, such as bringing back old festivals. It would seem that they're trying to revitalize the town commercially, but I think the people yearn for connection. All I know is I'm yearning to be connected to you, Nato. Hey, hey. Nato smiles gently. But as time passes, everything fades away eventually. That's what I was telling Chie, Nato. It doesn't matter in the end. The world's gonna be blown up anyways. <laughs> Whenever I handle a serious case, I always come across a certain problem. Man can forget about painful memories, and in doing so, wipe away tears and learn to stand up again. But because we forget, we repeat the same mistake that caused those bad memories in the first place. Being able to get used to difficulty is a strength, but people make mistakes because they get set in their ways. But after meeting you, I feel as if I've found an answer to these doubts. I feel that as long as you can find something precious in your heart, 
something to protect, you'll be okay. And as long as you have that precious someone, no matter how much you forget, you can strive for a better future. Nato, where's this going? Wait, what are you doing? Of course, I have people who are precious to me as well. That's why I'm thinking about doing whatever I can for them too. This isn't just about me. I draw my strength from everyone else. My friends are my power. They keep me alive. I've never considered things Kingdom like Hearts that is light. <laughs> and of course, the ones who taught me to think that way are none other than you and all my other friends. Thank you. Really. I'll worry about it, Nato. You're good in my book. Nato smiles cheerfully. Nato's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. Nato's persona has gone Super Saiyan. Yamito, fuck, Yamato Takeru has transfigured into Yamato Sume, fa, 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 what now? Sume, Sumagari? I sound like a fucking. <laughs> I sound like the most American person ever. Yamato Shimigari. Yeah, something like that. Shield of Justice. It's basically a move that protects the party for a single turn. But it takes a lot of fucking SP to use, and honestly, half the damn time, it's not even fucking worth it. Uh. With that said, because I like being useless sometimes, sure, why not? Shield of Justice. There's a new power budding in my heart? I wonder if this means that I'm still capable of change. I'm going to keep learning from here on, and as long as I do, I can always change. That doesn't just apply to me. I'm sure the same can be said about you, too. Love is frightening. It often brings out a part of me that I wasn't aware of. I think that part's called horniness, Naoto. But no matter how I may be, you will accept me as long as I'm not deceiving myself. And in turn, I want to stay true to myself so that you will continue to love me. I'll always love you. Oh, I'm sorry, you just surprised me. Um, <sighs> I'm the one who brought it up, but now I suddenly feel embarrassed. I, I love you too, forever. That forever part is kind of scary now to <laughs> forever. Oh shit. <laughs> you spent a long time with Nauta discussing all matters of things until it gets dark out. Welcome home! Alright. I can work as a tutor. I will do that. Uh, shopping district. Oh shit, I just cracked the fuck out of my ribs. Oh my god. It felt great. He helps Shu study, thoroughly explain the materials. The expression has increased. I feel that you will become closer soon. Damn it, we might actually. We might actually unlock fucking Yoshisune. <laughs> oh shit. I got the day off of school, what will I do? Who the fuck's calling me? Yeah, it's me. Oh, hey, Dojima. Nadako can leave the hospital on the 20th. Doctor says she'll be well enough. Sorry, I had a bit of a hiccup there. Doctor says she'll be well enough to recover at home by then. It caused you a lot of worries. It's okay now, so rest easy. See, Zonico is leaving the hospital on the 20th. He decided to wait for her to, to come home. Alright. Realize you haven't bought shit. What can I buy? What you got for me, Tanaka? Book of something. Wasn't paying attention. And B-chains. 
I don't know what that book is. Book of the Void. Oh my god. Something that X that X Def would fucking love, right? Into the Void. <laughs> Alright. I wonder what the hell that does. Seems important. All right, I'm going outside. Who shall we hang out with today? Um, let me think about that. We have Teddy. That's good. Yeah, hang out with Teddy or Yosuke maybe. Oh, Yosuke, I guess. Yo, yo, you. If you're not, actually, I'm trying to think real quick. Okay, if you're not busy, can you give me a little help? It's nothing much, but there's something I want you to hear. You know, before you go back. All right. Okay, Spider-Man, let's hang out. It's been a while since I last talked to you one-on-one -on -one like this. It's been pretty busy in the department I work in. I'm still doing that consultation thing, too. Indeed, Yosuke looks like he's lost some weight. Oh my god, Yosuke, you can't lose any more weight. You're already kind of like a scarecrow walking around. I caused you some trouble, too, with that message, Juness. Like, how tall? Isn't Yosuke, like, 5'7", five, 5'6"? Five, and he weighs, like, 140 pounds or something? You hella skinny, man. <laughs> you out here living the shaggy life. Uh, it wasn't a problem. Really? <laughs> That's good to know. Back then, I was constantly irritated, wondering why that stuff was happening to me. I was overworked just because I was the store manager's son, and on top of that, tons of people took me for granted. I thought no one was thinking about me. But that's not how I feel now. I took a roundabout way realizing this, but one constant in my life is that people rely on me. I thought before that I was shameless for being like that, but I just don't mind it. When I'm doing things for other people, it helps me try harder. When Nanako-chan was kidnapped, didn't you think I was surprisingly on top of things? Yeah. Yeah. You were the one I could rely on. Yeah. Great job. Huh? Well, um... Wait, you had other guys there with you, too. Yes, I'm just trying to make you feel happy, okay? Shut up and deal with it. In any case, I tried pretty hard at the time. Of course, I was serious about wanting to save Nanako-chan and solve the case. But mainly, it was because I thought you were going through some tough times. Yosuke is smiling gently. When we were debating dropping Namatame into the TV, I was just seeing red. I was so overwhelmed with hate and wanting to blame everything on him that I stopped thinking for myself. I think the same could be said about what happened to Juness. People just think about their own interests. But if I ignore them and say it's none of my business, I won't get anywhere. I'll forget what's important, and I won't be able to be proud of myself. I won't be able to say I did my best. I want to keep pushing myself like that. I want the people I care about to be happy. Yosuke is smiling cheerfully. And then Yosuke moved to New York. Started putting a fucking wrestler mask on. <laughs> Got spider powers. Started swinging around. Helping his neighborhood. Being... Your friendly neighborhood, Yosuke. Yosuke's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. Yosuke's persona has been reborn again. Suzano O has transfigured into Takehaya Suzano O. You full win. Let's see, moderately restores HP and raises evasion. So that means goodbye, Sukukaja. Got a funky ass 
Fire Afro. New power? Huh. Is this for real? Yosuke, I find it weird that your persona that specializes in wind ability has a lot of fire coming out of it. It's kind of weird. Don't you think that's weird? There's a lot I'm grateful for from this past year. But the biggest thing? I think it was that I met you. If you ever lose your way, I'll go knock some sense into you. It won't matter if you're at the ends of the earth or in somewhere dark and bleak. That's what partners are for, right? I'll be counting on you, partner. <laughs> you spent time talking about all sorts of things with Yosuke until it became dark out. And then you guys kissed and, and walked away. Oh, Sensei's home! Hi, Teddy. Bye, Teddy. <laughs> I love you, Teddy. You're cool. Just don't want to hang out with you. Not yet, anyways. Oh, damn it. Well, then to the shrine with me, I guess. Maybe the sports students would actually want to hang out with me this time. Mild Blessing. Will not become stronger yet. What the fuck, man? Yo! Ah, morning. Hey, isn't it about time Dojima-san and Anika work back? Once Anika chimes out the hospital, I think we should have another celebration. That's a great idea. Don't worry about catering it, though. I didn't say anything. Yeah, well, you were thinking it. Why do you have to be so mean, you? We baked the cake okay with Christmas. No. Naoto baked the cake. <laughs> you guys, you had some common sense in that group. I'll ask the others. Uh, we'll all pitch in and give her a good party. All right. Nautico's going to be back in four days. Alright, who the hell can I hang out with? Yukiko, are you around here? Yukiko! Hey! Yukiko. Oh, Yukun. Hey! Hey, you got some time later today? It doesn't have to be for too long, but I want to spend some time with you. Alright. Thank you. That's great. Simgaba flip plane. I'm sorry to ask you here so suddenly. It feels a bit awkward going home today. Why is that? Yeah, well, well. It's fine with me. <laughs> Thank you. It's actually customer's day for me today. The fuck does that mean? That's a day when the inn's employees take turns being customers. Oh. Uh... We've done it every now and then for a while, but I decided to participate this time, too. I wanted to see from a customer's point of view if our inn is truly satisfying. So I asked them to sign me up. That, that's great. <laughs> it's dedicated. Oh? Well, I'm always dedicated, though. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Maybe. He goes pouting a bit. Sorry, goddamn. <laughs> I played customer once before, too, but it made me a little uncomfortable. It was strange having mother and everyone say things like, Welcome to me. Is it me or does Yukiko's voice sound different? It sounds lighter than before. What the hell happened, Yukiko? Did they switch out your voice actor? What, what happened? That's why I wanted to stay out of it a little longer. <laughs> but I brought this on myself. Yukiko smiling wryly. I told everyone at the inn that I hadn't planned to take over as manager. That I wanted to leave Inaba. Oh shit. I thought it would be me finally coming clean to everyone. But they all just laughed and said they knew already. 
It made me realize how small I was. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. GM. She's like, now I feel, now I feel fucking stupid. <laughs> I was surrounded by good people, but I didn't understand that at all. I had myself convinced I had to bear my problems alone. I lied to myself, looked away from small opportunities, and only put my efforts into leaving it all behind. But after making so many good friends like you and Chie, I realized something. If I'm going to take one step at a time away from here, every step I use to run will take me somewhere I don't want to be. And if I keep averting my eyes, one day I might find myself blind to everything. I'm not crazy. Yukio's voice is different. What the hell happened? When I open my eyes, I see how vast the world is. If I was alone, I think it would be incredibly scary. But fortunately, I'm surrounded by kind, supportive people. Now I hope I can grow into someone that can support them in turn. Yukio smiling cheerfully. <coughs> Damn it. <coughs> I gotta clear my throat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yukio is hard to have developed over. Oh, wait, what? Yukio's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. Yukio's persona has been reborn again. Amaterasu has transfigured into Sumeo Okami. I hope I said that right. Burning petals. Nice. Severe fire damage to all foes. Get rid of Maragidine. You don't need that sh no more. Persona? I see. So I can still change. Ever since I fell in love with you, I felt myself changing into someone completely different. I keep finding sides of myself I never noticed before, and I love every one of them. It would make me happy if you did too. This is gonna sound really stupid, but I, I just realized what she uh what uh Yukiko is wearing. I was about to say she ate Jesus. What Yukio is wearing, and I'm like, oh damn, you look good in that outfit. Please continue to stay at my side. You can sense Yukiko's unconditional love. He spent time talking about all sorts of things with Yukiko until it became dark out. It's okay, Yukiko. You may be a dumpster fire, but you're my dumpster fire. You got leftovers from Juno's. That's that's cool, I guess. I can't tutor tonight, can I? No, I can't. Might as well fucking. Eh. What benefit am I gonna get from this shit? You look at the leftovers that Teddy brought back from Juno's. You have the ingredients to make me. What the fuck? Mit Mitai. Fuck. Mitai. Damn it. Mitaiko. Pastas. All right. Teddy, what are you doing? The pasta has been cooked. All that's left is to mix in the- I don't even know what the fuck that is! Hold it right there. Cooking needs a pinch of something to enhance its flavor. Let's see. This, and this, maybe this. Oh, put in one of these. Teddy hands you a number of ingredients. Which one will you use? Well, it's pasta, okay, so mayonnaise, ice cream, ketchup, uh, what? Oh shit, well not ice cream, that's for sure. Well, we just cooked. Here's the thing. We just made warm ass pasta, right? Just cooked it. I don't know what the fuck mi mi miket miketo is, whatever the hell that is. I honestly don't know what that is. Uh, I highly doubt putting mayonnaise on something super hot at the current moment. It's probably not a smart move, especially if you're going to make it sit overnight. So, I'm going to go with ketchup because it has salt in it. Salt and sugar. It looks horrendous and tastes even worse. Oh shit. What the fuck is McKay? What is that? Doesn't seem edible at all. You decided to wash it down the drain. What the fuck? I'm taking my phone out. What the hell is that shit? I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up.
ketchup was the worst option. <laughs> what the hell is is Mateco noodles? What the fuck is this? Uh, Polak roll is, is also Polak roll is I don't, what the fuck Alaskan Polak? What, what is this? A fish? What the fuck is- uh, what is that? It's a fish. Oh. Okay, well, I guess if you were making like cold noodles, then maybe- Maybe, uh... Maybe like mayonnaise? I should've went with mayonnaise. Should've went with mayonnaise, God damn it! I done fucked it up! Sorry that I'm not Japanese and I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. Alright. Um. I hung out with everybody in this. Who, who are you missing, actually? Is it just Teddy left? It can't be just Teddy. I got with Naoto, Kanji, Rize, Yukiko, Chie, Yosuke. Oh, it's just Teddy left. Okay, well. Teddy! Where are you at, Teddy, so I can choke the life out of you? You fucked up my noodles. You made me fuck up my noodles. I'm gonna turn your neck into a goddamn noodle. <clears throat> hey, Ted. Sensei! Oh, sensei, you came. What? What I want to talk to you about was, uh... No. I can't say it here. The mood's all wrong. The best place for what I want to say would be the ocean. Let's go there. Someone's been watching a lot of anime. Will you spend the afternoon with Teddy? Sure. Woohoo! Woo Thanks, Sensei. Well then, let's go. Strike while the iron's hot. To trot. What? Okay. What you got rattling around in your little brain over there, Teddy? Came to the beach with Teddy. Woohoo! It's so huge! So wide! So salty! Wait! The salt was actually me sweating. It's tough to skate against the wind. We'll take off the fucking wow. suit. The winter sea is really cool, too. How can you feel that with the suit on? Coming here with everyone was fun, but it's exciting to be here alone with you, too. This must be the true charm of the winter sea. Teddy's in high spirits. Sensei, over here! Let's do that thing people are supposed to do on the beach and run around in the surf! Come on! Try and catch me! What the fuck, Teddy? You play with Teddy for a while. Sensei, why is the sea so huge? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Because the world's big. There's a big ass world out the world. there. I know what that is. It's where everything is, and everything in it is connected. It's also the name of a stand used by a man named Dio. You should be careful when you head to Cairo. Teddy gazes out over the horizon. The sea's sparkly. I didn't know anything about anything until I met you and everyone else. Oh, Teddy, you dumb, stupid moron. You still don't know anything about anything. Fun things. Feelings that make me want to cry. How the sea is so beautiful. I didn't know anything. And I never thought about wanting to learn, either. I can feel all kinds of things in me now. All these feelings created after I met all of you. I think that's my life. It's these different feelings that keep me going. There's still tons of things I don't understand, and I don't know what I'm going to do from here either. But I've decided that I'm going to do the best with this life that I can. Even though I was scared, I took a step forward and discovered such a wonderful, shiny world. Does Teddy age? <laughs> now that I think about it, is this, a, is this an Igus situation? That's why you too, Sensei. S sen sensei! 
Teddy's shedding large tears. Because you're going away soon, I want you to know, Sensei. But I felt like if I told you, then you'd leave for good. <laughs> oh, Teddy, I'm not leaving. I'm just leaving you. <laughs> Still a long way off, though. If I stop eating them, will it never come? Jesus. <laughs> but I'll be okay. It's sad, but being sad is part of life, too. I've made my decision to stop relying on you so much, Sensei. I will now enter the independent Teddy chapter of my life, so that this time, I can be your Sensei. This time, he will independently mooch off of Yosuke. <laughs> Teddy smiles cheerfully. I love how Yosuke basically become a, became a fucking father. <laughs> Taking care of Teddy's ass. Teddy's hearts, having developed over the difficult year, attains greater power. Teddy's persona has been reborn again. Kaimui has transfigured into Kaimui. Oh shit. Kaimui Moshi Moshiri? Moshi Moshi? Kaimui Miracle. Anything could happen, and let's be honest, why the fuck? Why. Listen. Listen, hi, hello, hi, listen. Why wouldn't you ever use Kaimui Miracle? Why wouldn't you? It's right there. I don't want to get rid of Matar. Uh. Matark. Mm. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Yeah, no, it's fine. Anything could happen. Holy moly! Something came out! Holy moly donut shop. I'm an all new model now! Teddy version 3! Or is it 4? Maybe I should study counting first. Ugh. <laughs> oh, but even though I've entered my independent phase, I'm still gonna have Yosuke take care of me. T Teddy's like, I can't... I can't count to ten. <laughs> I'm not that independent yet. You sense an unchanging strong bond with Teddy. You and Teddy sit and talk about all kinds of things until the sun began to set. And then I was like, hey, Teddy, look at the sunset. Isn't that beautiful? We're back! He's like, yeah, but what about the rabbits? I'm like, yeah, the rabbits. Keep petting the bunny, Lenny. <laughs> Just fucking do him like that. Pet the rabbit, Lenny. Pet the rabbit. <laughs> look at the sunset. Oh, shit. Just put Teddy out of his misery. All right, so that's that's everybody's ultimate personas. Which part-time job will I do? Tutoring. You tutored Shu. About this. Is this going to show up on any tests? If it is, I want to know. I want to know a way to memorize it. I began to explain it to him in an easy, understood manner. I've got a big test coming up. It's going to cover a lot of material. Oh well, I'll be at the head of the class this time too. I won't lose. I will not lose. Mister. Hey, getting good grades, being great at sports, being fun to talk to, and good looking. Is it possible for anyone to be all those things? Do you know anyone who's like that? Fucking this guy right here. You mean yourself? Damn right I do. You're really full of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> Teach me your ways. I've been having this dream lately. <laughs> My mind instantly went to Kingdom Hearts. I've been having these weird dreams lately. Like, is anything for real? Or not? <laughs> In my dream, I'm on a train. It keeps speeding up, but I don't know where the tracks lead. There are no exits, so I can't get out, but there's someone coming from the car behind me. 
I can hear the door opening in the footsteps. I don't know who it is, and I get scared. Every time I have that dream, the person gets one car closer to me. Hmm. You're fucking possessed, dude. You've got ghosts huh? in your system. Please don't make fun of me. <laughs> oh. The only the only time I get to rest is when I'm sleeping, and I can't even do that right now. I want to be free. If I'm not at my best, she suddenly looked tormented. All right, so what you worried about? Nothing. Nothing's bothering me. She seems unwilling to talk about it. I don't want to be hated. Please come back again. She looks helpless. Seems that shoe's opening up to you. You feel that your relationship with shoe has grown even deeper. We might, we might get it. We might get it. I feel like I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Goodbye. Mister. Finish your you. tutoring job and went home. You remember falling asleep in your bed, but you feel more awake than ever. Is this a dream? You think back on your memories of Marie. Hello? Hello. I apologize for interrupting your morning. Oh, don't worry about it, Margaret. It's always good to hear from you. I thought it would be... I, I don't know why I just paused there. I, I don't, My brain just stopped. <laughs> I thought it would be best to inform you of my progression in the search for Marie. Locating Marie whereabouts had proven to be more difficult than I expected. It seems that she left our, our room with an incredibly strong will. No, her fate lies with you. She has left you, to be exact. All right, well, you didn't got to say it like that. God damn, it kind of hurts when you say it like that. She must have very strong reason to do so. Please allow me, please allow me some more time to pinpoint her location. Now, if you will excuse me. I love how Marie called me in the morning to be like, Damn dog, she left your ass. <laughs> Why did Marie leave? You have no choice but to wait until Marie's whereabouts have been discovered. All right, now I can hang out with everyone else. Don't have to worry about our teammates no more. They're all covered. Everybody was able to get their new ability be besides uh, besides Kanji. Because <laughs> honestly, the man's way kind of just sucks. Like, yeah, it has a, pro it has a chance of putting everyone in a state for an all-out attack, but it takes, it takes a lot. It's not worth it. Hey, uh, you want to hang out? Oh, you. What do you want? Isn't ready to advance yet. God damn it. What? What? Fine. Bye then. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. All right. All right, I. God damn. She said, okay. Bye. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to talk to you either. <laughs> oh my Jesus. I'm gonna go grab some personas. Grab whatever personas I, I need uh I need to get for these guys. Hi Chie. Alright, compendium. Uh let's see. Oh shit, I didn't even check what personas I had while I'm doing this dumb shit. Alright, what am I missing? First of all, I'm just gonna get rid of these. Alright. Oops. We have Tower, Hangman, Moon, Sun, Strength. What else do I need? Um, old Lady, Young Mother, so Temperance. Moon, sun, hunger. Oh, just temperance. Okay, well, 
I guess I'll head death for good measure too, even though we really don't need it. And there's no, there's no way that we're gonna, you know, ain't no way we're gonna fucking get all the goddamn social links going, but hey, pretty close, actually. Wait, did I pass death? Devil, death. All right. Who wants to hang out with me today? I did not mean to talk to you. Bus stop. All right. Is I the only one that I can hang out with? Because I know Naoki doesn't want to fucking hang out with me. Let's see. Yumi, are you up here? Because you were... Oh, shit, she's not. Oh, damn it. And Hasano's only on like, whoa. <coughs> uh. The fuck just happened to my voice? Oh my god. <coughs> it became all like, groggly and shit. Did you guys hear that? That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. So... I think Hasan is only available on off days, right? Like it has to be either Sunday or a day off from school, and then she's hanging out over here. Alright, well then, I guess I'll hang out with I then. Hey, I! You spent the day shopping with I. I feel the relationship is going to become closer. Welcome back! Welcome back, big bro. Somebody came with a package for you, Sensei. I put that shit on the table. Book of the Void. What is the Book of the Void? What is this? Better be something super cool. Oh, what the fuck? Of, when did I get this? Elements are recovered in one turn. Oh, that's cool. Nullifies panic, fear, silence. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Can I tutor tonight? Part-time job, hospital. Alright, well then the shrine, I'm gonna go... And... I guess, pull again for the strength. Hopefully I get something nice. Great blessing. Hey, it could become stronger. That's all I wanted to hear. All you getting? Oh fuck! Are you all getting out of out of your vacation phase? Let's make sure this year is relaxing. Last year was too hectic with all the crazy stuff that went on. Last year's zodiac symbol was a little bunny, and it was just like that, just running all over the place. Hey, did you know that other countries have their own zodiacs with different animals? Do you know any? Of you? Do I know any? Oh man, that kid is passed out <laughs> at Yukiko's desk. Jesus. That dude is sleep sleep. And the Thai and Vietnamese zodiacs, which animal is used in place of the rabbit? I don't fucking know. The Thai and Vietnamese. I mean, the cat already. No, the cat's already part of. Is there a thing as you're the cat? In the zodiac? Not you're the cat. I'm thinking of China. My bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, cat's, cat's a zodiac symbol in Japan, yeah? I'm gonna go with elephant. Too bad. You wouldn't know, would you? Alright. Thailand and Vietnamese, the kitty is... Oh, shit. It was the cat. The kitty cat is the zodiac instead of the bunny. They're both cute. Would you rather see me in a bunny outfit or a kitty outfit? I'd rather just see you 
fucking I don't know. I'll see you in court for this restraining order I got for your ass. What? No response. You're all no fun. Ugh. Ugh. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I don't want to be a part of that. Oh, hello, I. Fancy meeting you here. If you're free today, want to hang out? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I see. That's too bad. Well, see you later then. Hey, you're coming to practice, right? I don't know. Am I, Co? Am I coming to practice? You fucking piece of shit. You want to ignore me for the better part of a week? And now you want to hang out, Co? Now that I's talking to me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's see. I see you. My guy, Co, you moving sideways. You moving kind of funny. Oh. <laughs> How are you? What do you want? I'm gonna go hang out with I. Cause she appreciates me, Co. She likes me for me, damn it. Yeah, so got me high rooftop on the top of the water tower. You followed I up here. I'm sorry. Damn I. I didn't know you wanna hang out near the water tower. You must be thirsty as fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to make you hang out with me. Eh. I don't mind. It's cool. Thank you, you. You really are a nice guy. Just don't check my Reddit. <laughs> After I calmed down, I gave my life some serious thought. Why do I go on such crazy shopping sprees? Why do I feel like I need to be so well-dressed all the time? It makes me want to ditch class. Do I want to stand out so that I'll catch people's eyes? And why do I always find myself wanting to hang out with you? What the fuck? My phone just went off. Okay. I was thought that if I could be prettier, I'd be better off dead. Oh, if I couldn't be pretty, I'd be better off dead. Nobody likes people who aren't pretty. They hate you. What's the point in life if everyone hates you? But lately, I've been thinking, maybe I'm wrong. There's still a lot I don't know. I guess I shouldn't be jumping to any conclusions. And before I realized it, I was crying. I've always made sure not to cry, too, because it makes my eyes swell. I pulled back my curtains and the sun was just coming up. The stars were shining so dimly. And for some reason, it made me think of you. You thinking I'm dimly lit? The fuck does that mean? <laughs> I wonder why. Uh... Cause I'm special to you and you love me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Not like a couple or anything, but something more special. You're a weird guy, you. I'm glad we met. Feel genuine trust coming from I. The relationship with I has deepened. Oh no. Oh no, are people mass inviting other people to the to the Final Fantasy FC? Jesus. I'm getting all these notifications off of the Discord and it's like... It's like, look at all these people that are joining the FC and it's like, look at all these people that are never gonna talk to anybody. <laughs> Let's go home, huh? If they catch you with me, you'll probably get all the extra lectures too. Let's split here. Parted ways with I and went home. Welcome back! Alright, I can tutor tonight. So I'm gonna do just that. Which part of job, uh... Which part-time job do I want to do? Tutoring. Yes. Oh, it will deepen. Nice. Uh, hey. Well, uh, today... Sh shoo I just got a call from the school. Shoo. It's not true, is it? Shoo, it's a lie, right? Shoo, look at me. Shoo. It's true. 
I am Batman. <laughs> Shoo! I'm sorry. Please go home today. I'm sorry. Shoo's voice is trembling. Shoo, what's going on? I... Go home, please. Go home! It looks like you should just go home today. You decided to go home. What happened with Shoo? They got a little serious there. Okay, well, that was a fun way to spend my night. I didn't get paid for that night, you son of a bitch. When you arrived at home, Teddy's there to greet you. Welcome home! I've been waiting for ever and ever for this day! Now, 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 come in, come in! Give me one of those honey, I'm home kisses! Teddy, what kind of shit you been smoking? Oh, don't be so shy! Smoochy, smoochy! Come on, please! Don't ask questions you're not ready to hear the answer for. Bring it here, buddy! Uh, <laughs> my pheromones are too powerful! I came on too strong! Stop! Break! Cut! It's all a mistake! Today's the day Nana-chan comes back, so I've been practicing hard to greet her. Oh, I know. Sensei, what does it mean to glomp somebody? What? I don't fucking know. I found that in one of Yosuke's books, and I'm pretty sure it's romantic. To glomp? What the f- Hold up. I gotta look this up. I gotta know what the hell he's talking about. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> I failed my own password in my phone fucking twice trying to do this shit. What the fuck? How the fuck you spell that? Glomp? Wait, what? How'd you spell that, Teddy? Glomping... Let's see. Uh, to embrace enthusiastically, to pounce on and hug, often from a running start. Really? It has its own name? I, I thought it was just like tackling the shit out of somebody. Okay. It's like from, you know, it's from like romance animes. Where the girl's like, oh senpai! And then she fucking runs and jumps and tackles his ass. Teddy's eyes are serious. He doesn't look like he's gonna back down until you teach him. How will you teach him? Catch me, Teddy. All right, Sensei! I knew I could count on you! Oh! It's a bear hug! I can do that! My heart's beating so fast! I feel like I'm being swept away! What the hell are you two doing? <laughs> Nothing! Welcome home, Nanako. Oh, Teddy's here too. Nanachan, you're all better. Easy there, Nanako. You don't want to get hurt again. Nah, uh The doctor said I'm all better. <sighs> well, she's been so strong this whole time. Who am I to argue? I owe you a lot for this, so I've gotten us a fancy dinner for tonight. We bought sushi, and it says premium on the package. That means it's super fancy. I call the harami and kohara. I don't know what either of those things are. Nanako looks happy. Okay, well, I was able to say hello to Nanachan, so I guess I'll be going now. You're going home already? Now that you're home, Sensei won't be lonely anymore, so... Plus, I'm not a family member. That doesn't matter. Sensei, so I can stay here? You can mooch off of me for one more day, Teddy. You're Big Bro's friend and my friend. Friends can stay here. Right, Dad? Don't worry about it. It's just sushi. We're celebrating today. Pops, 
I'm such a lucky bear. It appears that you'll have a lively dinner tonight. Wow, it's shinier than usual. It did cost a pretty penny. Mmm, yeah, that's good stuff. Big bro, I love sushi. It's so good. I love raw fish too. It's great. <laughs> That's not sarcasm. I actually do really like sushi. I think I'm the only one in my family that does actually. Got to ask them not to put wasabi on it. Here, Nanako, I'll scrape yours off. Oh come on! Which do you want? Nanako, put some fucking hair on your chest. Eat that wasabi. It's good. Maybe we should have split it into separate portions first. No, mm, it's so good, so good, oh, mm, so good. Damn, Teddy. Life of Nanako Dojima has returned. After dinner, you walk Teddy back to Yosuke's house. And you kicked his ass on the porch. I said, I think this belongs to you. <laughs> you can work as a janitor tonight. How you feeling, Nanako? Teddy was here while I was gone. Aw, oh, lucky. I want to play with them. Let's go see him at Juna's, big bro. Oh, yeah. I heard you got sick during winter break. Sheesh, you should have said something. I know you don't want us to worry, but I'm supposed to be taking care of you here. At least let me act like your uncle once in a while. He said, at least let me pretend to care. Gotta make sure you don't die. <laughs> Alright, oh Yumi's out here, that's cool I guess, maybe. I want to see if Naoki's, like, walking about. He might be. Probably not, but he might be. Nope. Nope, Naoki's not here. I'm going to pull out a fortune for him. Oh, Naoki. Be my friend. My blessing. Your relationship could become stronger soon. Okay. Damn. That was fast. Yo! Yo, you! I heard from Teddy that Nanako's out of the hospital. Man, what a relief. Now I finally feel like the case is closed. We did it! Yosuke, we did it. Everything has been done. We did it. High five. Oh yeah, I was talking it over with the other guys, and what do you think about throwing Nanako a coming home party? I'm sure she'll love it. Alright then, it's on. Let's meet up at the food court tomorrow afternoon. I'll pass it along to the others. I'm already getting excited. Classes have ended for today. We're gonna celebrate with Nanako. After I hang out with someone. Alright, sports guys are looking good. Eyes not here, so why not? Yo! Hey you, you're gonna practice, right? I might as well. <laughs> Yes, got me high gym. Co's working hard. Or hardly working. You know what, you? I'm gonna keep playing basketball. Studying lessons and all that crap. I think I'm gonna keep doing it all. Hmm. You can do it, man. I believe in Thanks. you. Until now, I've been doing those things because I... F because... Uh, damn it. Because I felt obligated to. But if I put my mind to it, I can be good at anything I want, right? I gotta be at the top of my game so I can be the big brother the next master of the house deserves. Co smiling cheerfully. Hey, you got some time later? Something I want to give you. Yasukami High Rooftop! Ko asked you and Daisuke to meet him here. Well, I did it. I asked them. 
Isn't your- isn't this supposed to be voiced? My parents, my grandma, I sat them down, I asked, Do you guys even want me anymore? Did you ever want me? That's when all hell broke loose. My mom started crying and then she was like, Of course we want you, stupid. She was practically yelling. <laughs> Man, that's why people call me stupid lately. <laughs> Co, it's time you learned the truth. Pretty fucking dumb. <laughs> Oh well, I'm starting to think so too. I thought I had it all figured out, but I just didn't get it. You know, it's really the people around me who shaped who I am. I bought into the same crap artists are always writing or singing about. They're trying to find themselves. <laughs> Looks over at Rize. <laughs> so I thought I knew all about how to find yourself. I thought I got it. But really getting it is totally different. I mean, Really finding yourself. Without you guys, I probably never would have figured it out. I would have just kept pretending. And I probably would have given up on the people I cared about most. So... Thanks. Man, you say some mushy stuff sometimes. Yeah. So while I'm on a roll... Here. I want the two of you to hold on to my letter from the orphanage. No. Dude, you can't take this. I'll take it. It's mine. Yeah, but... This way I'll never forget that I'm not alone. Please. I got it. Fine, but this is just for now, man. Thanks. I know. I'll ask for it back when I feel like I can stand on my own two feet again. So, uh... You better stick around till then. Receive the letter to Ko. You feel an unbreakable friendship has formed between you, Ko, and Daisuke. You did it. Congratulations. Thou art I, thou art uh, thou, thou establishing a bond, dream a bond. Fuck. I pressed, I pressed the button again, and it sped it up. I, I didn't mean to do that. The fellow athlete social link has reached its maximum link. Length? Reached its maximum level. You have mastered the fellow athlete's social link. Your power to create personas of the strength arcana has reached its maximum. You Narukami has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the strength social link, you can now fuse Zhu, uh, Zhao? 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 I don't know. To Zhao Goken or some bullshit, I don't know how to say it. The one who determines- wait, what determines? What the hell? The one who demands surrender. The three of you passed time conversing with each other. And then you went home, I guess. Oh, welcome home, big bro. I missed you saying that, Nanako. It's great to be back. I'm gonna go work as a tutor tonight. See you later, Nanako. I still feel bad for that cat just sleeping out there. In the snow. Tutoring. Um, I'm sorry about what happened last time. It got kinda ugly. She says nothing for a while. The awkward silence continues. Huh? Today's date is circled on the calendar. Oh, that's right. Today's my birthday. I forgot. What the fuck? Don't forget! My birthday doesn't matter. She looks ready to cry. Mom forgot it too. She's not even here. Oof. Alright. You decided to throw a party, a birthday party for Shu. First you need... Guest. We need to get some guests. We decided to call Yosuke. Yeah, what's up? You explain the situation to Yosuke. Oh, I get it. Well, I can see why you want to help the kid out. Leave it to me. Just text me the address, and I'll find <laughs> directions to his house later. Yosuke just shows up with, like, three hookers. <laughs> He's definitely the type of guy to do that. Huh? Hmm? What? You decided to wait for Yosuke to arrive. 
She was in total shock. <laughs> hey, I caught the whole gang. It's cool, right? This guy seemed to be, uh, seems to have gathered everyone. Sheesh. Yes, they just called us out of nowhere, you know? He was all like, meet us at Junez. I was worried there for a moment. <laughs> but a surprise party like this is kind of surprise, is kind of surprise I like. Yes. Me too. But we have to start this off right with a song. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not doing that. She's still in shock. Come on, now for the candles. Blow them out. Huh? Huh? But... <laughs> we don't hurry, you'll end up with a wax-flavored cake. And no one wants that. I don't know, that's questionable coming from Chie and Yukiko. You guys even know what food tastes like? Okay. One, two... She takes a deep breath. Oh, it got dark. The lights hit the lights. Hey, who did that? It's not me. <laughs> no kicking. Huh? Hmm? Isn't the switch somewhere around here? Ah. Oof. Ah. Whoa. I'm sorry. Look at the switch. What did you do, Shu? Oh my god, that he became a man. Oh no, it's my fault. Uh, is this your face? Y yes. Let go of my nose. I'm sorry. sorry. I just sat back down. Uh, oh, you're stepping on me. Uh, I'm sorry. Wait, where am I? Sheesh, Yukiko, let me handle this. Uh, right in the solar plexus. Everyone, just sit down. You get the lights. What the fuck happened to Chie? Why is she laid out? <laughs> is the cake okay? You kidding? That's the first thing you ask about? Well, let's put the whole mess behind us. Happy birthday. Thank you. How old are you? Uh, 13? I, I mean, 14. Wow, that's young. Man, must be great being... The fuck you mean? <laughs> wow, that's young. He's only two years younger than you, Chie. Right? She's, uh... Oh, no. Three years, I guess, right? Because we're at... Wait, no. Wait. Rizé 16. I assume everyone would be 17, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Checks out, I guess. Does it? Hmm. You're not exactly an old lady, you know. But, uh, Shukun, your life is only beginning here. Yukiko smiles gently at Shu. Oh yeah. Man, you got no idea when to turn on the cube. I mean, it's nothing. It's just the day I was born. Yep, it's a time for celebration. It's a reason to be happy. Should I have been born? Oh god. Shu mumbles to himself. Stupid. 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 Fucking stupid. Stupid. She's surprised. Of course you should have. She was surprised. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, now for the cake. <laughs> yep, let's all have a slice. So, damn, that looked good. Save me a slice. <laughs> Save me a slice? It's getting late, so everyone went home. Hmm. Thank you. I... She begins to cry. I... I was suspended from school. I'm sorry, Sensei. I cheated. I was so worried about the test. If I wasn't number one, I thought... There's no point in anything if I'm not the best. It's all I can be. If I'm not, Mom won't love me anymore. Mom asked me why I did it. She said she was betrayed, embarrassed. She said I'm not her son. She was crying. Shu begins to sob. He gently soothes Shu. I... I'm sorry. When I 
was able to write my name for the first time, Mom praised me. She would tell everyone who would listen that I was a genius. So I did my best. I studied all the time so I could live up to her expectations. So that people would accept that Mom could raise a child on her own. I always had to be number one. But then he, the transfer student, came along. The school he came from was ahead of us, and he always got perfect scores on the test. Plus, he's good at sports, good at talking to people. He became the best in everyone's eyes, and they all started laughing at me. I know that all I'm good at is studying, but now I don't even have that. Studying all day, no clubs, no friends. What do I have left? I don't. I don't have anything. I'm nothing if I'm not number one. If everyone, if even mom gives up on me. I'm scared. Cheating was the only option I had. That's what I thought. So I... Sorry. I'm sorry. Shu begins crying again. Comfort him. Mom must be sad. I... She won't stop crying. Is mom... She's back. I... I'll go talk with her. Thank you, mister. Thank you. For today. I was happy. She tries to get his emotions under control. You feel that your relationship with Shu has grown even deeper. A poor little baby Shu. You can do it. Go conquer your demons. Come back again. I'll do my best. I didn't get paid, Shu. You didn't pay me, you bastard. You have the day off from school today. You have no plans to attend the party. Oh, what? No plan? Why did why, what, what? Why did I say that? You have plans to attend a party at the food court to celebrate Nanako's release from the hospital. You should go to the food court with Nanako. Na 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 Congratulations! Welcome back, Nanako-chan. Thank goodness you got better! Thank you. I feel great now. I can go home and live like normal. Right, Thick Bro? Yes, you can. You can do that and yeah. more. I can go to school and help out around the house like I always do. Nanako looks satisfied. <laughs> I think you're even more energetic than before. Man, am I glad you're okay. When you went missing, I swear that was the most scared I've ever been. Plus... Um... I don't really remember what happened. Nanako-chan... Yosuke? You need to practice not sticking your foot in your mouth. I mean, seriously. Sorry. You can't blame her for not remembering. It was the same for us. Besides, it's better that she forget. One of these days, Nanako, you too will obtain a persona. That's right! Nanako-chan is better now, and that's all that matters! Oh yeah, is Dojima-san coming by? Dad, he went to work today. The fuck he doing at work? We'd just be bothering him if we asked him to come here. We're supposed to be celebrating, not having him buy us lunch. Because I'm sure that's what he'd do. Nanako-chan, aren't you bored just sitting and talking here? No, it's fun being with everyone. There's plenty of snacks, too. Nanako-chan, let's go see all the food tasting stands. The kind ladies will cook you anything you want right in front of you. No, they don't. I know they're always yelling at you. What about Tag, then? You run around, and then these scary guys come after you. It's so thrilling. What the fuck, Teddy? That's store security. Heck, your whole idea of fun is just pissing people off. And no running. 
That'd be fun to play hide and seek in a store this big. Hide and seek? I'm good at that. Both the hiding and the seeking. Oh. Big bro, did you come find me? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, that's... Monaco-chan, do you remember? Not really. But I remember everyone coming for me. You are all cool, like those heroes on TV. Nana-chan. I was able to become Nana-chan's hero. Don't cry, Ted. I'm, I'm allergic to people who cry. I see. You remember. Then let's do it for reals. Juness, hide and seek. Really? Is that okay? We still have time before the special announcements. Plus, there's no need to run and hide and seek. If I tell my manager, I'm sure he'll let us use the electronics section. That's my boss! I'll be rooting for you when you write your apology! Jesus. If I get permission, then I won't have to write one. This is so exciting! Nanako-chan, which part do you want to do first? Um, both! All right, winner gets meat! Why are you betting? None of this makes sense. <laughs> Thank goodness Nanako is healthy again. After enjoying some time with everyone, you take Nanako home. Welcome back. All right. Uh, can I do anything tonight? <laughs> I got one more social link to do with Shu. Let's see. I can't tutor or nothing. All right. Well, I guess I can, um... Uh... Hmm. Who's the closest right now? It's getting their social link finished. Eyes at seven, nine, three, four, five. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll just go for I then. She's almost there. Could become stronger soon. Time's passed. Time to go home. Yo. Sup, senpai. Man, it's awesome how both Nanako-chan and Dojima got better. It's funny, but I'm as happy as I would be if they were my own family. It was pretty rough for them, but at least we save them. You're right, man. Well, it's finally hitting me. Oh, that reminds me. Is Nanako-chan going to be okay with her homework and stuff? She's been out for a while. It ain't going to be tough for her to catch up. But then again, she's a hell of a lot smarter than me. Probably nothing to worry about there. Hey, Naoki! Uh, there's something I want to talk to you about, so don't you have some, uh, do you have some time to talk later? Probably be around a liquor store. Just meet me there if you have some time to talk. Just hang out with Naoki after school. I would like to finish Naoki's, uh, social link, but I don't, I don't think I would have enough time to. Because he's only at five, right? Let's see, I'll hang out with Naoki if, uh, if I isn't here. Okay, well, I's not here then. Well then, I'll hang out with Naoki then. Naoki. Naoki, hang out with me. Oh. Oh, hello, you son. Naoki seems to be having free time. Since you have Tawol, however you say it, 
Persona of the Hangman Arcana, two of you might get along well. Alright. Central Shopping District Chinese Diner, Aya. Do you remember how I talked about quitting school? I told my parents my plan. They were really against it. They told me that it's not what we want. Live the way you want to. Then they asked, You hate school, don't you? You just want to go away from it. They got all suspicious of me suddenly. I wasn't expecting that at all. Hmm. Hmm. I was just stunned. I couldn't even think of anything to say to them. Now he's biting his lip. I honestly didn't know what the fuck to say to him. If I wanted to run, I could do that forever. Since everyone's being so kind to me. Not just the health association, the class chores, club activities, everyone says I can just do whatever. Even the teachers just allow me to take tests home. If I show up late, if I leave early, I don't get penalized. None of my actions have consequences. I can't tell if I'm right or wrong since everyone reacts the same either way. No one gives me orders. They just tell me to take it easy. Then they talk, then they, shit. <clears throat> then they take all responsibilities away from me. Eventually, it doesn't matter if I'm even there. I don't have anything. I don't have to exist. Am I really that pitiful? Hmm. What the fuck? I don't even know what to say to Naoki half the damn time. God damn it. It attacks my brain here. You're not the only one, I guess. Yeah. I know. What should I do? Should I just keep going around and telling people not to treat me special, like I've been doing? Should I act like sis never existed? Being stared at, being pitied, being alienated by my friends. Should I just pretend not to notice? Until everyone gets tired of it? When they do get tired of it, won't I be alone? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> He said that in such a pouting way. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. I don't know what I'm saying right now. You can feel that Noki is trying to open his heart to you. Don't worry, Noki. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not a good subject to talk about while eating. Lately, I don't even taste my food. Oh, come on, Noki. See you again. You can't be doing that. Like, lately, I don't even taste food no more. Oh, Walking around, back. proudly having COVID. <laughs> That's right, I don't smell, I don't taste, I feel like shit. You went shopping today. Thanks, Nanako. Actually, actually, I should save my game. I haven't done that in a bit. Make sure to do that. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, can I? I don't think I can tutor tonight. Yeah, I can't tutor tonight. Head back to the shrine. I guess I'll pull something out if I know okay, because I don't want to fuck up the, um... <laughs> I don't want to fuck up the meal. Ah, fuck it, why not? Go back home. Let's see what I can make. <laughs> I got 13 saves, what the hell? Oh, I got more than that. Every save slot is filled, baby. Right? Pay no mind. <laughs> gotta rotate saves for the playthrough, and then there's uh, the two other saves I got. Uh, one save has like all the social links maxed out, and the other one is me trying to get all the social links maxed out with um, with the teammates having their ultimate personas. Uh, what the fuck was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm doing it for the playthrough. Okay. When we get to the end, then gotta make sure it's nice and perfect, wrapped it all up. <laughs> also, I got the compendium to 100% in one of the save files. 
All right, what the hell can I make here? What do we got? Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make Odin. Oh, Odin? Oh. Is that how you're supposed to say it? It is supposed to pronounce it? Okay. You prepared the ingredients and all that's left is to simmer them. How strong should you make the fire? Boil quickly on a strong flame, boil slowly on a medium flame, keep on a low flame, and don't boil. Yeah, if you're simmering, wait. But if you're, if you're simmering something, isn't there like a light boil, right? It's like a very, very little boil. That's simmering, right? I'm gonna boil slowly on a medium flame. Might be too much, though. I know, I know for sure it's not that one. Because I feel like if I do it on a low flame and I don't boil it, it might come out too cold. Going with my gut on this one. It looks about right, but the soup has muddied and it doesn't look too tasty. I promise I know how to cook. <laughs> I promise I know how to cook. Ah, oh, shit. I'm, I'm just gonna eat this alone. Okay? I'm just gonna do that. I promise I know how to cook. If you don't believe me, check my Twitter. <laughs> I made salmon, like, earlier this week or last week or something like that. You son. Well, do you want to get something to eat? Or do you not have time to hang out today? I'll think about it, Noki. If I is available, then I'll hang out with I. If not, then I'm hanging out with you, Naoki. And well, I just doesn't exist anymore, I guess. <laughs> she just disappeared. Naoki! Let's hang out, buddy. We're friends, you and I. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. <laughs> Naoki! You're my friend. Oh. Central Shopping District Chinese Diner, Aya. Sorry about last time. How he kept talking about all that nonsense. I wanted to apologize for that. What? Shut up. You're so strange. You don't distance yourself from me like everyone else, or preach to me like you know everything. <laughs> I feel comfortable around you. You know, I like cream puffs. All that cream filling in the middle. Mm-mm, delicious. Scrump diddly umptious. I know it's kind of girlish. The fuck you talking about, girlish, man? That shit tastes good. You eat it. There's a good cream puff shop by our house, so every once in a while I'll buy some and take them home. If I put them in the fridge, sis would eat them all. She'd make up some lame excuse like, I ate them for you since they were about to expire. So we always get into fights over cream puffs. But now, the cream puffs don't disappear. I bought some and they expired in the fridge. When I saw that, I thought, um... Maybe... You know what? On this note, I gotta say... Fucking today, I went my fridge, right? Because a couple of people moved out. And, oh my god, I was so happy to go in that fridge and just throw out a bunch of fucking bullshit that was in there. I mean, a bunch of stuff that was in there. Like, fucking just literally like bags of food like just opened and like not properly stored like there was a bag of fucking fries in the freezer that was just fucking ripped open in half and all the fries were spilling out of it and shit and I'm like how the fuck do people live like this I don't get it man like fucking put that shit up <laughs> like, 
like half eaten ice creams and shit and i'm like come on what the fuck how do you how do people live like this maybe sis isn't here anymore make no here. damn sense so i threw them away i told you before if i if you ask me i hate the killer the answer's no the truth is it's not even a no i don't know anything I have a meaningless daily life. Just confused parents in a dark house, just rotting cream puffs. How do I get out of that? I'm sorry. <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat. What would be the best for me, for sis? I just don't know. Take action. <sighs> I know. I know I'm stagnating. That's a big word. I know it's not good. I know that I need to move. I know all that. You quietly listen to Naoki's worries. I feel like you were able to support him. Naoki, I got your back, man. Come to think of it, sometimes Sis would bring cream puffs back from her job at Juness. We would eat them and complain that Juness brands taste bad. Sis looked like she was having a hard time working at Juness. But she said it would eventually be for the sake of our store. She played around, but sometimes she had to like the eldest sibling. That always irked me. Um, next time, will you go to Juness with me? I'd like to check it out. Promise to go to Juness with Naoki next time. I'll see you again. Next time, dude, can we like, can we just like go to Walmart together? <laughs> You're back. I want to check out this this Walmart that everybody seems to love so much. Time to get my tutoring on. It will deepen. All right, it's going to max out. That's all I need to hear. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought he would talk. Uh, thank you very much for what you did last time. My suspension wasn't very long, having everyone stare at staring at me hurt though. <laughs> it's my own fault. I need to change. She looks hopeful. Mom bought me a cake for my birthday. She said I lost my temper and said terrible things to you, but I didn't mean any of it. I'll always be proud of you, dear. That's what she said. I also told her why I cheated. I'm sorry, give me a moment. I wanted to look at my router real quick because sometimes people are crazy in this house and they like unplugging my shit. And I gotta make sure that the modem didn't get unplugged. So I gotta make sure that the stream didn't just die. <laughs> about what I was thinking, about the transfer student, about not wanting, to, uh, wanting her to hate me. Then she said, let's start over. Let's start over, as a family. I always thought a family was something that's already there. That it's something finished. But it looks like you can try to start it over again. I wasn't paying attention to mom this whole time. I thought that if I wasn't the best, she looked down on me. Because of that, I must have thought I needed to be number one in order to be loved. But that wasn't true. It didn't matter. She loved me this whole time. She holds back his tears. Mister. I have to you. thank you. And your friends too. Thank you for recognizing me. I wouldn't have been able to talk to mom if you hadn't. I'm proud of you, buddy. <laughs> thank you. About this. You obtained test results. I got this for getting the best score in a mock exam a while ago. I thought that this was my only bond with mom, but it wasn't something I can see. So, please take it away. Until I can laugh at how I thought about myself. I cheated on my tests, I got suspended, my permanent record must be a wreck. I got right off, I got right off the rails leading into a good college and a good company. But, I can see now that I don't have to be on that straight and narrow path. If I stayed on the rail, 
not think, <clears throat> not thinking, not seeing anything, except what was right in front of me. My life would have been empty. I'm going to think about my life and set my own path. I feel like my life is just beginning. Not because I'm young. <laughs> because I just realized that. Have I ever got suspended? Oh yeah, plenty of times. <laughs> Definitely. Shu laughs, embarrassed. You feel a tight bond between yourself and Shu. You know, I got suspended for, uh... I got suspended for, um... For fights, right? Because I used to go to a school, like... Like, I live in a ghetto area, like ghetto ghetto. <laughs> And I used to go to that school in the ghetto, and I mean, like, you gotta fight, right? You got no choice. I also got suspended one time, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of actually really embarrassed about this. But, to be honest, I shouldn't be embarrassed about it, because it wasn't my fucking fault. But, uh, I remember in, like, I wanna say... One, one, one of the grades where you still get, like, uh, you know, recess and shit. And I remember, you know, walking up and asking, like, one of the, uh, one of, like, the two ladies that would, like, watch over the kids for recess and shit. I walked up to her and I said, can I go inside because I really got to use the bathroom. And then she said, no. And I was like, what? She's like, no. I'm like, why can't I go inside to use the bathroom? She's like, because I said so. So, I, I honestly, I don't know why she wouldn't let me go inside to use the bathroom. And I had to piss. And... Like, I was a child, but I knew for a fucking fact I wasn't going to sit there and piss myself. So I went to the side of the school and I pissed on the side of the school. <laughs> and when I did it, some bitch-ass, snitch-ass little kid fucking at the wrong time turns the corner, sees me pissing at the side of the school, and he runs and snitches on me. And then I get in trouble for it. Right? And I get it. Right? You know? But then I tell them, I'm like, hey... That's not fair, though, because I kept telling her, I gotta use the bathroom, I'm gonna piss myself. And I'm not gonna sit there and piss myself. Like, I'm a child, and I know that you, do you adults have authority over me and shit. But, hey, I'm not a fucking idiot. I'm not gonna sit there and piss myself. So I got suspended for it. Right? I got suspended for it, and I got in trouble for it. Uh, by, like, my fucking mom and shit. But I was like, what the hell you want me to do? Piss myself? Right? I remember I got suspended in high school for walking out of class because I needed to get some papers filled for, uh, for, like, my living situation and stuff like that. At the, like, some... Yeah, I literally pissed on the school. Fuck that place. It's a piece of shit anyways. Um... Fucking... I remember I had to get some papers filled out, and it was, like, after midterms or something, and in every class we were going over midterms. On top of that, I didn't have a lunch period because I just didn't want one. And on that day, I didn't have a study hall either, so my only option to, like, go and get those papers filled out was to head over during, like, you know, during my Spanish class, right? And, you know, for the most part, I'm not a bad kid, right? The most, most bad things that I did is, like, if I ever got into a fight, it was because it was the only option I had. Right? And I never fought someone to beat their ass. I always fought them to, like, you know, get them to fucking stop. But, um, and, like, in terms of, like, you know, schoolwork and shit, the only bad thing I ever did was, like, not do my homework, honestly. So, you know, had the Spanish teacher, and she's notorious for just being a bitch to everybody, right? So, I tell her, I'm like, I'm like... Can I be excused for a couple of minutes because I need to go and get these papers filled out? It's very important. I need them filled out by today, right? Because fucking for some reason, when my mom handed me the papers, she, for some reason, she's decided not to hand it to me like before they were due or whatever. But I had to get them filled out that day. And she says, go in your lunch period or your study hall. I'm like, I don't have one today and I really need to get these filled out. And she's like, well, no, I'm not letting you leave. And I went... I really have to get these filled out today, and we're going over midterms and shit, and it's very important that I'm there for the rest of those classes, right? And she would not let me leave, and I said, okay. So then I got up, and I walked out. 
I went and I got the paper sign, and then she wouldn't let me back in the class, and then I went to the dean. Like, uh, the dean's very cool with my family, right? Because I have, I have two sisters. Um, I have more than two sisters, but, you know, I have two half-sisters. And fucking, I, since I was, like, the youngest, I was in the middle of the spectrum where... One sister was the bad child who constantly got in trouble and did stupid shit, and the other one was the good fucking valid Victorian child, so I was either expected to be one of those two, right? So, the dean was very familiar with my family. She was also very nice, very nice dean. She's one of my favorite people in that fucking school. I fucking, I love her, and she helped me out through a lot of shit, right? Like, literally went out her way uh, for, for me and my family sometimes. So she's talking to me. She's like, "So why did you uh, why did you walk out?" And I was like, "I really need to get these papers signed. They're really important, right? For uh, for like the living situation I was in and stuff like that." And she's like, "Okay." She's like, "Well, you did do the right thing. I'm gonna tell you that straight up. You did do the right thing, but unfortunately, rules are rules. So I'm gonna have to like suspend you for like a day or two, right?" And I was like, "You know what?" I accept it, whatever, it's fine, I'm not mad about it, cause, you know, it's whatever, right? So, you know, sometimes I got expended, uh, uh, suspended over bullshit, well most of the time I got suspended over bullshit, and the other times were like fights and shit, really. School's a bitch. <laughs> and then, later on in high school, when I was like, oh wait a minute, I'm smarter than most of the people in this place. I just stopped going to school and then would just go to school whenever I felt like it and I still fucking got the highest grades. Hell yeah. That's how I did my shit. <laughs> Starting today, I want to stop. The tutoring, I mean. I was thinking of joining a club. The basketball team. Basketball, my bad. Baseball team. I've never played baseball before, but I've always wanted to. I don't really know the rules though. She laughs like a child. I only had my studies. I had to be number one. That's what I thought all this time. But if I think that, then I'll never have anything. So I want to try a bunch of things. I'm sorry, but please let me quit. We can play baseball together sometime, though. You can't quit, Shu, because... Well, can he, he can't even quit because he's the one paying me. Whatever, I quit, Shu, because you haven't been paying me the last couple of times I've been showing up to your fucking house. Let's see, your stories are more interesting than some social links. <laughs> I don't think I'm that interesting. For the most part, I keep to myself. I think that's why, uh, honestly, like, I think I, I said it before, but fucking for some reason, I remember like a multitude of people just going like, man, you remind me of Psyche. And I was like, what? I'm like, you mean the fucking anime? Like the psychic dude? They're like, yeah, because you just, you just, they're like, if you're not interested in something, you just walk away. And then most of the time you're just like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> you're just like, I'm not about this. And I'm like, I'm like, you're not wrong, but I don't think, I don't think I'm Psyche. Ah, he paid me this time. Nice job, Shu. Thank you. You remember falling asleep in your bed, but you feel more awake than ever. Oh my god, I am so fucking hungry. This is what happens when you don't eat carbs for a while. God damn it. Is this a dream? You think back on your memories of Marie. When you don't eat carbs for a while, you start pissing a lot, too. <laughs> Hello. I apologize for interrupting your morning. I thought it would be the best to inform you of my progress in the search for Marie. I'm closing in on her location. Please allow me a little more time. Oh, and do you remember that her memory has been lost? It was, seems this incident has something to do with these lost memories. And intertwining her fate with yours, she may have discovered something. Now, if you will excuse me. It seems Marie's disappearance has to do with the memory she lost. You have no choice but to wait until Marie's whereabouts have been discovered. Man, it's cold today. We, we even got snow this year. 
it's though uh what it's though being so cold wait what it's though i fucking hate the english language half the damn time though thought through the fucking word might and might <laughs> like jesus fucking god there there and there's were were and were where and where everything's the fucking same it's so stupid it's tough being so cold like i feel like the word tough should have an f in it but it doesn't because the gh makes the f sound it's tough being so cold but snow is so pure white and beautiful but sometimes snow falls in different colors and did you know that well then i'll do amagi san a favor and ask her this one what color is the snow that falls in europe in spring what? How's this a favor? I got no idea. European snow in spring, do you know? Does it look like I live in Europe? I don't know. Red. You gave her the answer you think is correct. I'm French. Say less with dumb... <laughs> Say less with dumb English. Jesus. Doesn't a... Okay. Am I crazy or does French have a rule in their language where it's like vowels can't touch each other or something? So you have these long-ass goddamn words because the rule is vowels can't touch each other? You're absolutely correct, Amagi san Red is your favorite color, right? The reason why red snow falls in spring in Europe is because the snow mixes with the red sand of the Saharas. The red sand... Uh, what? Oh, the sand rides the wind from the African Saharas to Europe. It's, a, it's around 1 million metric tons. The power of wind is truly great, isn't it? Though, it would be a bit scary if everything turned red. No? What fucking... What language was it? There was some language that I remember hearing where it's like, there's a rule that vowels can't touch each other, so you got like these long-ass fucking stupid words. <sighs> Damn it. Now I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while. You remember that I liked red. That was a great help. Wait, but if you knew the answer, did you remember me too? What? You're wearing red, Yukiko. Shut up. <laughs> You're making no sense to me. Who wants to hang out? Naoki! Are you over your depression yet? I see. Maybe some other time. Oh god, my s Oh shit. My body is kicking my ass right now. Oh my god. Damn it. To be fair, I did kind of skip dinner a little bit, but not completely. I had a... I had like two pieces of chicken, but not even like full pieces. They were like... I want to say each piece was like maybe one ounce. Oh shit. I wasn't really hungry at the time. Now I just want to die. <laughs> Hi, I. Oh. How are you? What do you want? I want to hang out with you. I want you to love me. Sure. That's got me high rooftop. You found I here. I have some news for you. Oh, you do? The other day, I bumped into him, and we talked for a while. You know, Coco? But nothing happened. My heart didn't race. He was just a normal good guy. I guess what I felt was kind of a fleeting thing. Hmm. You okay with that? Hmm, I don't think I really... I'm really that bothered by it, you know? <laughs> I'm just thankful you helped me realize it. I was lying to myself. Whenever there's been two ways I could go... I always did what the ideal girl would do. I forgot about the real me. The real me likes bulldogs more than German Shepherds. Honestly, I think I like bulldogs more than German Shepherds. Because bulldogs are just little tiny garbage compactors that you just fucking throw shit at them and, and they just fucking devour it. I'm better at long distance running than sprints. I prefer milk over tea. And I don't like Daifuku more than cream puffs. 
I have no idea what the fuck Daifuku is. I'm gonna look it up. I wanna know what it is. What is it? Is it like a Danish? I think it would be like a Danish. It sounds like it would be like a Danish. Is it chocolate or something? Daifuku! Daifuku is- oh, it's a mochi. Okay. Consistent of small round mochi stuff with a sweet filling, mostly common. The food's probably okay. Oh well then Dog, you mean rat? <laughs> what? You mean the rats I got? I call my dogs rats because they're because they're chihuahuas, but little fucking rats running around. That's literally one of their nicknames. So when I call them and I don't call them by their names, I'll sometimes I'll just call them rat. Like, get over here, rat. And they'll start running to me. Yeah, but fucking I, you're you're so wrong. Cream puffs are better than mochi. Go, what the fuck is wrong with you? I know how, I know, uh, what? I don't know how to hook up a TV. I think aromatherapy smells bad. Of course it does. And any purse that'll carry stuff is fine. Of course it is. But I hit that part of me away, and I just pretended it wasn't there. No wonder I didn't think anyone would like me. Of course, I don't have any redeeming qualities. That wasn't me. <laughs> That's why right now, I feel pretty good. I smile cheerfully. Eyes best girl. I said it. <laughs> wow. It's already getting dark. I guess it's true. Time really does fly when you're having fun. Bye bye. See you. Uh, bye bye. See, I'll you, see again. you later. Oh, uh, goodbye. I'm thinking of getting another dog. Oh, welcome home, big I just don't know what breed I want. Right? Uh. I can just head to the shrine now, I guess, because fucking. I don't have to deal with shoe shit anymore. Alright. I think I'm gonna pull one out for I actually, because I feel like I didn't get too much for her. Small blessing. Will not become stronger yet. God damn it. Guess I'm hanging out with the... Uh, Naoki, then. If he's available. If not, then I'm fucked. Naoki! Where the hell are you, man? You know what I think would be really interesting? Because Naoki... Like, I said it multiple times before, but Naoki keeps reminding me of it. What if they just did a reboot of Kolioko? I think about it. I think they should do a reboot of Kolioko. Oh, hi. I would like it. <laughs> Junez food court. He just finished walking all around Junez. The grocery department downstairs was incredible. And they had so many kinds of liquor. The price is much lower than ours. There's no way we could win. But we've been doing well lately. After Sis Murder, there are some people who buy from us out of pity. Are you okay over there? Because you're fucking scratching up your cage. Making a lot of fucking noise. By the way, do I know what happens if you date multiple girls? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Valentine's becomes the saddest day ever. <laughs> They added that in Golden because in the original game, like, there was no penalty for it. Right? So they were like, alright, we gotta, we gotta kinda come up with a penalty. And now that's, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be like the standard going on for all the Personas. Because Persona 5 kicked it up. They said, uh-uh, <laughs> you're gonna deal with this. <laughs> Fucking Sojiro betrays his own daughter. God damn it. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? <sighs> Charge them extra. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> we make money, they get to be hypocrites. <laughs> but it's over for us. Our family is in shambles. My parents won't even speak a word about this. They're trying to act as if she never existed. 
Then at night, they cry. What can I do? Hey! What's up, Yosuke? Aren't you Saki senpais Oh. This is hi. the first time I've been to Junos. I don't really have anything to do with, uh, wait, what? Oh, I don't really have anything to do at our store. And I don't hold any grudges against you, but... It's just that my parents and the neighbors would have said something, so I never bothered. <laughs> We're in the same boat, buddy. I see. It's incredibly huge, huh? I'm full just looking at all the food here. It's like its own country. Your sis said that too. You two kind of look alike. You have the same chin, the nose, and eyes too. The only difference is you don't got her big ass forehead. <laughs> Stop it. My sister isn't here anymore. Lonely, huh? Shut up. Just stop it. What do you know about me? She told me she was proud of you. She boasted about you. <laughs> Naoki's social link depression simulator? Yeah. Like, I, like, I know it's like just straight up depression, right? But honestly, I think Naoki's fucking, like, for not being a main character, I think he's a pretty good supporting character. Especially for, uh, for like, you know, for how the story goes in the game, right? Like it's that it's not it's not Persona Three where everything is about death or something coming to an end. It's not. It's trust me. It's not the Sun Arcana from fucking Persona Three. Oh my God! You want to know the ending of my book? Well, the alligator dies. <laughs> like, damn it! He's like, yeah, you thought the pink alligator was gonna live? Ain't no happiness in here. I liked your sister. Past tense, huh? I'm doing what I can right now for my sake and your sister's. If you just sit there crying, you're just gonna trouble her, you know? I'm not crying. All right. All right. Today is grilled steak today. I'll go grab three. Oh, you. You have to pay for your own. Then why are you volunteering for me to fucking get one? Like, wh why are you... Did I say I wanted a steak? I gotta pay for my own, you fucking bastard. You offer to get food for me and then you just walk up and go like, Oh, by the way, you owe me money. Yosuke-san sure is nosy. Oh wait, so are you... <laughs> I can't just ignore you, man. Am I that pitiful? No, that's not it. It's different with you. You're not being kind to me because of that. I'm sorry. I'm glad I saw where Sis worked. I'm sure I could never have come by myself. I wouldn't even have thought about it. Thank you. You can feel that Noki's opening up his heart to you. Like, honestly, I think, like, if I were to make a change to some of the things in this game, one of the things would be to not completely switch the rules, but I guess instead of making Yosuke like, oh, this girl I had a crush on died, and now I have to, now I have to defend her honor, right? Instead of him being that guy, it would, I think it would make more sense if Yosuke was like her brother, you know? Like, that would make more sense to me. <laughs> I think that's why Naoki is a pretty good social link for this game. Because you get to see that viewpoint. Naoki silently continues to eat. Yosuke is warmingly watching over him. That's something that uh, Persona 5 did good on as well. Uh, even Persona 3, it's like you have characters that are... I'll see you again. That instead of them just going around going, we're going to do the good thing because we're good guys, you have some characters out of there that's like, no, I actually have a fucking, like, connection to this shit. You have Haru in Persona 3. Uh, Persona 3, my bad. Haru in Persona 5. And then you got, you got everybody in Persona 3. He's just connected to something. Except for Junpei, really. But then later on, Junpei gets Chidori, I guess. 
right? Like, even the dog, even the dog is like, I'm defending my fucking territory from the shadows. How dare you? But Persona 4, you kind of lack that, right? It's like, besides Nanako getting in trouble, it's like, it's not... Like, she dies, but she doesn't stay dead, <laughs> right? So you kind of recover from that, like, fairly quickly. Like, Yosuke doesn't really have any ties there besides that he had a crush on a girl. Like, everyone else's ties is that they got kidnapped, but there's no, like... It's not like someone important to them died or anything. Uh... I'm gonna pull one out for I actually. Isle Blessing. It will not become stronger yet. God damn it. I swear these fucking blessings are useless. Trying to like max out at least one more social link. Before we get towards the end of the game. Uh, into town we go. Maybe we can hang out with Naoki. Nothing. Those are honestly the only two that I'm like working on right now. Yumi's like not even worth it. Naoki, are you available? Yes, you are. Oh. Let's see, isn't likely to grow. Huh, that's okay. I expect that. What rank is Naoki even at right now? What is he at? Six? I am home, Dojima. That is something that I am doing. I am home now. Uh, oh, he's at eight. Oh shit, he's at eight. Oh, he caught up to I. That's pretty good. Come on, I. I need you to love me, girl. Small blessing will not become stronger yet. Why does everybody hate me? Why does everyone hate me? All right. She's not down here, and I don't think Naoki's available on Saturdays. If I remember correctly, anyways. You there, Naoki? No. Damn it. Uh huh. It's really not much we can do. We're pretty much near the end of the game. <laughs> Jesus. Mild Blessing will not become stronger yet. God damn it, dude. How much do you hate me, girl? After dinner, Nanako started studying. When you asked her about it, she says it's catch-up lessons from when she missed school. She said she's having... Oh god, my back. I just cracked the shit out of it. She says she's having special lessons at school during the week, but she's decided to study at home on weekends, too. Though she gets stuck at times, Nanako is still working hard. Did you help Nanako with her weekend night study for a while? I want... I'm torn, because I can use that time to go and open up the fucking, you know, the fortunes. But it's Nanako. I can't say no to Nanako, why would I ever? Thank you! Tonight is for the writing class. My teacher gave me some handouts. I need to make sentences using certain words. I'm home. Welcome home! Oh, it's Dad. Dojima is home from work. Hmm. Studying at home too, huh? Don't overdo it, okay? You've gotten better, but you're still recovering. 
No, I'm all better now. I'm s and studying's fun. <laughs> I wonder who you got that from. All right, in case, I'll help out too. Can't put all the burden on you all this time. Yay! You're gonna stay too? Let's see here. Make a sentence using leaf and forest. Hmm. How about the place best to hide a leaf is in a forest? Hmm. What does that mean? Uh. Oh, basically, uh, by purposely leaving important evidence out in the open, it makes it harder to find. Dojima, what the fuck are you? Dojima! <laughs> Yeah, it's basic investigation for a detective. Yeah. yeah. That's right, but maybe Nautico's still too young for that stuff. You and Dojima helped it up. Oh, I had a moment there. You and Dojima helped Nanako study by giving her hints when she got stuck. After Nanako reached a good stopping point, you put her to bed and returned to your room. Sunday. Usually I would hang out with Hasano, but I mean, it's, at this point, there's really no point in doing it. Because I'm not gonna have enough time. What do you got for me, Tanaka? Wizard's Mark. Why the fuck would I want a stone? I barely trade in those stones. I should sell the stones I have, now that I think about it. All right, take my ass outside. Let's see. I, are you around here? I highly doubt that, you know, you would, like, it would be important anyways, because you need to be at school to do your stuff. <clears throat> Naoki, you're all I got left, buddy. Come on. Come on. No, okay. Ah, oh, shit. Oh well. I'm taking another fortune, I guess. Shit. There we go. I'm trying to think. Would it be feasible to finish it today? Oh shit. I'm looking at the time. Probably not. But we'll definitely finish it, like, next stream. Great blessing, but it will not become stronger yet? What the fuck do you want from me? God damn it, man. You decided to help Nanako study with Ojima again today. Oh, uh, today is arith arithmetic. You're in fucking- you're in- you're, you're nine years old and you're learning- Damn, Japan, what the fuck, man? My teacher gave me some problems to solve. Hmm. Subtraction, huh? You're up to that already? First is 7 minus 2. Okay. Arithmetic is just a fancy word for math, I guess. <laughs> I thought it was something else completely. Like, I knew it was math, but I thought it was like, you know, something else. Oh. That's amazing, Dad. You're fast. Well, yeah, anyone can do it once they get used to it. Oh, well, is that neat? The next one is, uh, this one has both plus and minuses. Let me see. 10 minus 5 plus 3. 10 minus 5 plus 3, that's 8. The answer's 8. And you're quick. Just let Nanako solve them. How about that? Yeah, Dad! I need to do it, too. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I got ahead of myself there. Indojima helped Nanako study by giving her hints when she got stuck. I love, that reminds me that like, uh, I remember one night I was just, you know, chilling at home and then my brother fucking comes over and then I, I guess, I don't know, he must've been watching TikTok or some bullshit, I don't know, but fucking, you know, he got in his head to do, you know, to do the things where he's like, hey guys, what is, what is Y-E-S spell? Yes, what is E-Y-E-S? And then, and then just see fucking, um, you know, people act stupid. Does it make you closer to level up if you talk with the guys at night rather than picking a blessing? Yeah, it does, but, uh... I know he's not hanging around at night for some goddamn reason. To be fair, I haven't checked, like, the past two nights, so you're kind of right there, too, but, you know. It is it is a better option, you're right. Yo, here, students talking. Yeah, but, um... Let me finish that thought after I read this shit. 
Ugh, it's been so cold lately. By the way, advance exam... Advance. Advancement exams are next week, right? Those exams are gonna leave questions from... Gonna leave? What the fuck am I saying? Gonna have questions from everything we covered all year. Like, I'll remember all that. Don't worry. It's just a piece of paper. The real measure of our lives is still a long way off. Our college entrance exams are next year, you know. I feel like how I do on this is going to be the measure of my life. Yeah, so my brother comes home, right? And then he does, you know, the stupid thing like, eh, what is YES spells? Uh, what is EYS, right? And then I'm sitting there watching my, watching, watching people in my family act stupid go on, it spells ES, right? Or whatever the fuck. And, you know, and, and the word is eyes or whatever. And then he's sitting there, you know, thinking he's all clever and shit, fucking laughing to himself. And I'm just sitting there and I just look at them and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you know what? I shouldn't, but I will. So then I looked at them, I said, okay, well then what's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4? And then they all just looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> and then I got a, I got a bunch of answers. I got, I got fucking, I got 9s, I got 11, I got 13. Someone kept thing, saying 13, like, fucking three times. And I'm like, if, it, if I said no the first time, what makes you think the second and the third time would work, right? But I'm just sitting there and I'm like... You guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I'm like, it's real easy. <laughs> yes, that's fine, exactly. Yeah, but it's like, you know, like I would, like mine's wasn't clever or anything like that too. Like I'm pretty sure you find it on the internet anywhere. But it's just one of those things where I'm like, oh, you think you're smart because you watched it off of TikTok. Now I'm gonna prove how stupid all of you really are because you can't do simple math in your fucking head. <laughs> And then they looked at me, they're like, what is it? And I'm like, it's 10, you fucking morons. It's fucking 10. God damn it. And they're like, that doesn't make sense. And I'm like, yes, it does. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. Idiots. <laughs> Giving money to all the kids in my extended family? It's really rough on my bank account. By the way, one of my nephews had a music player. I didn't know they came in gigabytes these days. Uh, the last time I bought one, they still measured them in megabytes. Storage capacity still is getting- oh, fuck, I can't read. Storage capacity just keeps getting bigger. I was surprised. I wonder if we're close to getting terabytes capacity music players. Oh, you'd be surprised. I guess I'll ask- I'll ask about units measurement then. Hadamaru-kun. You seem to like music? No. Not a kami-kun. In front of him. What the fuck? What's the next unit of measurement from terabyte? I honestly don't know now that I think about it. God damn it. Petabyte, bitch. Yep, it is petabyte. And one step greater than that is exabyte. I wish my checking account could be measured in peta anything. But, no matter what happens, my wallet always stays flat. Ain't that the truth, sister. No matter what you do, I stay broke. Hey, Naoki. Don't worry, we'll cure your depression. I still doesn't want to hang out with me. Makes me sad. The depressed kid wants to hang out with me. But the girl who says that she likes my company doesn't. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? I've been friend zoned. That's what happened. Firmly threw your ass in the friend zone. <laughs> so, how about you sit there for a while? <laughs> oh. Alright, Noki. Yes. Sure, it's okay. Um, there's a place I want to go to with you. In French, bite can be pronounced bite, which literally means dick. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, so like, mega dick. <laughs> this, uh, the scene of the second victim's discovery. Giga dick. Micro dick? <laughs> Is microbyte a thing? No, what is it, kilobyte? 
kilobyte. Isn't there something below kilobyte? Isn't microbyte? Am I crazy? This is it, where they found cyst. The whole time I could never bring myself to pass through here. I was afraid of remembering cyst and thinking about how, how her body ended up. But now I feel like I can finally accept the truth. You know how it is in TV dramas. People cry for days on end and their sad memories come back and torment them. It wasn't like that for me. I was the same as ever. So I thought... I thought I was a cold human being. Because I wasn't able to cry like the actors on TV. I thought that maybe I didn't actually like this. Hey man. You're just inept. <laughs> People are different, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Just because I'm not like a character on TV doesn't mean I'm wrong or strange. <laughs> Until he starts like ripping the head off of bunnies. <laughs> I'm not strange. I just like doing this. <laughs> like, oh God. <laughs> Talking with you little by little, I start to understand that. I was just trying not to think about sis. I was, it was easier for me to tell myself that I was a cold person than to think about sis and suffer. I kept running away from the pain. I never let myself think about her. She must have wanted to live more, huh? Live for her sake. Yes. You're right. That's the only thing I can do for her now. Nelky now finally let go and started crying. <laughs> I wanted her to live more. I wanted her to live. Noki's biting his lip. Just let it all out, man. I'm trying for the first time. <laughs> Thank you. Finally. I finally feel that I'm sad. It seems Naoki has realized the profound sadness he had buried. You feel that your relationship with Naoki has grown stronger. I think... I think... Maybe the only thing else? You saw Let's Go Home. I'm gonna talk with my parents about sis, about me. Alright. I'll see you again. I think... One of the, Not the only thing, my bad. But... One of the things that I can compare Naoki's, like, social link to, like, in the best example possible that I can think of at the current moment, is, um, is the, uh, movie, uh, what, what is it called? Inside Out? Is that what it's called? Right? With all the emotions running around, you got joy, sadness, anger, envy, fear, right? And I remember that movie came out, and you know, it's it's one of those things where, like, a Pixar movie comes out, and everyone's like, Oh my god, Pixar! It's the greatest thing ever! Right? And then you just, you're just like, oh my god, shut up. I don't want to hear about it. So then I want to say, like, about two years after the movie came out, I finally watched it. Right? This was, like, a couple of years back. But, um, finally watched it. And I remember sitting there, and I was like, alright, it's good, it's okay. And then you get to the part. You get to the part with the imaginary friend sacrifices are being made and then for no reason I start tearing up I'm like no <laughs> can't go down this way right and that whole movie is about like it's okay to feel sadness and shit like that right you know and I'm like you know what it is good sometimes you sometimes you gotta you gotta be a manly and just have some manly ass tears. That's what you gotta do sometimes. And I feel like Naoki Social Link is a good way to show that. Where it's like, don't be scared to feel. It's gonna hurt like a bitch. But it's gonna be all the more better when you get past it. Oh, so now I wants to hang- Oh wait, no, it's Naoki. <laughs> I'll decide later, Naoki. I still doesn't want to hang out with me, despite the fucking... 
thing telling me she does. Whatever. Even if I was here, I'd still hang out with Naoki. That's my guy now. I'm about to heal this man's trauma. I'm about to be his fucking messiah. Lay my hands on his on his not big ass forehead, because his sister has a bigger forehead than him, but his medium sized forehead. You just go, it's okay, my child. Let out all your frustrations. Oh. Alright. I'm actually really happy that I got to max out Naoki's social link in this playthrough. Tumagawa Riverbank. Naoki took you here. I played with Sis here once. A long time ago. Sis was pretty agile. So she crossed the river by jumping from rock to rock. And then she slipped and hit her head like Bridge to Terabithia. <laughs> you guys ever watch that shit? Like the, like the old Bridge to Terabithia, not like the new one. And like the moment where they tell the kid that, you know, the girl died. And like his reaction is like, no, you lie. And then he fucking just runs off. And it's like, oh my god, that was terrible. They should have redid that line. No, you lie. <laughs> I was scared, so I just watched from the side. Then Sis waved at me and disappeared into the grove over there. I cried like hell. Also, was it in the original or the remake where it's like... That kid was hanging out with that teacher a lot. Like, I mean... I mean, like, goddamn. <laughs> like, like, they were really hanging out a little too much. I cried like hell. When I was crying, Sis crossed the bridge without me noticing and yelled right behind me. It pissed my pants. <laughs> Lately, that's all I've been remembering. I think it's the same way now. There's a river separating us. Sis is gone, and I'm still here. Sis has crossed over the other bank. I'm still on this side. No matter how much I cry or piss my pants. What? <laughs> you lost me now, okay? No, you could have just left it at cry, but he's like, no, I'm pissing myself. I'm pissing right now. <laughs> no matter how much I cry or piss my pants, I know she isn't coming back. I've been trying not to think about it all this time. But I finally feel like I can face reality. I'm trying to think about how you're not, how you're not bare grills in it right now. It's all thanks to you. Mm. That's right. Be grateful. <laughs> no. No. You did everything. You talked to me. You listened to me. Noki started taking it serious. Uh, <laughs> taking it serious. Talking seriously. I'm not taking it seriously. <laughs> I thought that there was no point in my existence. But I was really happy to find that there was someone out there who would actually devote time to me. That's why I was able to do this. Here, check it out. Check it out! Original holographic Charizard card. <laughs> June asked receipt. It's not just a receipt to me. It's not just a normal purchase like it would be for someone else. I wanted to give it to you. Naoki's smiling cheerfully. You feel as if you... Oh, fuck. Sorry, I heard something in, like, my background, and I was like, what the hell is that noise? It's nothing. Just the echoes of my madness. <laughs> you feel as if you and Naoki have formed a tight bond. That's right, keep it tight. Tighten up, my guy. <laughs> Tighten up. Thou art I, and I art thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. This genuine bond shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon you the ability to create a tits. I don't even know how to pronounce that. The ultimate form of the hanged arcana. Addis? Addis? A tits? A titties? Titties? I'm thinking of helping out at the store. I'll stay in school though, so it'll only be after school and on holidays. 
The rest of our family has yet to re really accept Sis's death. I thought we all needed to bond and work at the store, the first step I can take towards uniting the family. Yusan, please come. Visit our store. I'll make it so successful, you'll thank Junez who? You'll thank Junez Ekwa? <laughs> Naoki's smile is completely free of worry. And just like that, you dust your hands off. Depression cured. Um, I really want to thank you. Spent the rest of the day with Naoki. That's how you do it. Welcome back. Hey. Rotate those saves, baby. Rotate those saves. Alright. Uh, to the shopping district. Maybe I will want to hang out with me at night. Maybe she does. Maybe she doesn't. Who's over there? Is that reason? Oh no, it's I. Hey, I. Where the fuck yeah. have you been in the daytime? Oh, it's you. I didn't expect to run into you like this. Well, there aren't that many places to go around here, so I guess it's not a big shock. Well, you have time, right? Come on, let's chat. Well, of course you do. We're, be we're being at you're being asked by me after all. <laughs> Lol, you didn't see the <laughs> yeah, yeah. My dog's an emote. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah. Have you seen the fox at the Tsutsumi Shrine? I've heard rumors about it, but I thought it's just a prank. I went to the shrine for Hatsu Hatsumode. Hatsumo yeah, Hatsumode. Hasamodai, I don't know how to pronounce it, with my family and I saw it on the roof. A real fox, imagine that. When he saw it, when he, fuck, I can't even read anymore. When he saw it, my dad put a lot of money in the offering box. He said the shrine must be really lucky. The other guests also dropped in lots of money too. That fox seems a bit too cunning, don't you think? Hmm. Fox is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you believed in stuff like that. My dad was impressed by the fox. He says that the fox understands the needs of his clients. That fox cried out happily when we gave our money. That motherfucking fox looked down and said, Yo, fucking dollar dollar bills, y'all? <laughs> it was like he understood what was happening. The timing was perfect. My mom swooned, and we all gave more money. What the fuck? <laughs> fox seemed coming. <laughs> I didn't say it. I said cunning, didn't I? Did I say cunning? Oh my god, did I? You and I got better acquainted over small talk. Jesus. I really hope I didn't say that. <laughs> Shit, my bad. Well, time sure passes quickly when I'm when I'm with you. This is a little something for you. Here, take this. Some of that beautiful soul food, baby. I know it's not much, but it's thought that counts, right? Sus. <laughs> well, let's go. See you again. I'm gonna hold you to that eye. You just said see you again. If I don't see you at fucking school, I'm gonna throw my controller. Yo. Sup, you. Sup yourself. Brr, it's so damn brick out here. Can't believe it's February already. Oh, you know how exams are next week? What do you say we go skiing this time for real once it's all over? We do have those holidays coming up after all. You gotta see what Inaba has in the winter. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> It'll be this winter lash hoorah. Let's make it, let's make the most of it. I'll shoot you an email once the plans are nailed down. Make sure you don't catch another cold, okay? Trying to plan together a ski trip myself for this winter. Well, now you want to hang out with me, I? Fancy meeting you here. Hey, if you're free today, I want to hang out. You're damn right I do. Great, I'll see you later then. I hate to see you go. But I love watching you walk away. <laughs> and that's it for today's lesson. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sigh. When I see a snowy landscape, I just can't get those beautiful pyramids out of my head. Mm -mm. Don't tell me you don't know what the pyramids really used to look like. 
You don't, do you, Mr. Narukami? No, the fuck I don't! What color were the pyramids originally? I don't know, white? Good for you, yes, pyramids were white. The pyramids, when first built, were covered in beautiful white limestone casings... Uh, what? Limestone casing stones. Uh, okay. However, the outer limestone was stolen, revealing that it looks like... Uh, what? Revealing what it looks like now. When I see a white landscape, I can't help but think of the tragic history. Those robbers! If I was there then, I would have cursed them. Or you would have been a slave. <laughs> Just kidding. You gave the answer correctly. You gave the correct answer. I don't know why I said it the other way. I'm losing my mind. Classes have ended for today. Your advancement exams will begin next week. Yes, got me high shoe lockers. Realizing how much of the game you missed. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Don't worry, it's all gonna be uploaded to YouTube. Oh, God, I gotta stretch. This fucking chair is killing me. You decided to go to Okina Station with I. Someone else has approached I. Hey, Achan. Haven't heard from you in a while. What's up with that? What? You gotta play hard to get now? I see how it is. You think I didn't hear about your new arm candy? That transfer student? You, right? Are you seriously dating that loser? Excuse me? <laughs> I would've knocked his ass out right there. We're not dating. And don't talk about him like... Could've fooled me. <laughs> not that I'm worried or anything. I mean, come on. Me versus him? Not even a contest. I could show you stuff you never ever dreamed of, baby. Jesus. I can show you that I can last for like two minutes. I bet you never had a guy like that before. <laughs> you know what? I never... You know what I always fucking hated? That one jackass in a group, and we all have that one jackass that we know, um, where they would just fucking out of nowhere go like, Yo, so uh, out of you guys, who you think would win in a fight? And then you just look at them and you're like, do you, like, you really fucking, you really just want to start shit? <laughs> like, for real? So is that one fucking asshole who says that dumb shit, right? Two minutes is average, right? Oh. Actually, I think the average for sex is actually like, it's like, uh. I think it's actually like seven minutes or something, like the actual act of penetration. There was a study done. I remember I remember reading it somewhere, right? But average is definitely not two minutes. Oof. <laughs> Oof. That's a little sad. <laughs> All I know is sometimes, sometimes, no offense women, but sometimes yeah, I got some fucking crazy ass demands. I want to last for like 45 minutes. Like what? Like, you're crazy. You're crazy, man. <laughs> after I done my business, you know I feel depressed. Every guy feels depressed after they done their business. <laughs> and you want me to feel even three times depressed after 45 minutes? I'm like that depression is going to hit real hard. <laughs> I love that picture where it's like, where it's like when girls masturbate and it's like a picture of fucking Himiko Toka from like, uh, from like my hero and it's like, tee hee, I came. And then it's like when guys masturbate and it's a picture of Dark Souls 3 and they're like, nothing in the world has meaning anymore. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. Stop it, jeez. There's nothing going on between you and me. Never has been. Hey, listen, it only takes so much of your mouth. Come on, now. Uh-uh. I forget it. I'm not going anywhere with you. Hey, what the hell? You had me wrapped around your little finger and now you're gonna act like this? You want me to leave a mark on that precious face of yours? I'll call up some friends. It'll be a party. Huh? I don't care about your stupid threats. Why don't you just do it already? 
Things don't look good. You feel eyes in danger. Ah, uh, shit. She got it. You decide to watch. Your overflowing courage won't let you. Oh, shit. <laughs> What are you trying to be, her knight in shining armor? Don't you know you're getting played, dumbass? I'm officially pissed off now, you little shit. Ah! I love how the man went to slap me, right? Instead of going for a punch, he just went, I I had enough of your, your prittle prattle. Tuck his glove out, said, tip tap. <laughs> I was struck. Oh no. You got what you deserve, bitch! I'm out of here! Ow. I'm sorry. Was that unnecessary? Damn, dog. Good? I'll be fine as soon as I get some ice on it. Will Smith? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, for real. It's like, it's like Will Smith, if you're gonna do all that, why'd you go for a slap? I'll tell- I don't know, dude. I, honestly? I don't wanna talk about Will Smith. I just don't. I just fucking don't. I don't wanna sully the Persona 4 playthrough by talking about Will Smith. We'll do that some other time. <laughs> fucking when we're not streaming Persona. But all I know is that Will Smith. Never cared about Will Smith. I never have. Uh, but gotta be the stupidest man I ever fucking known. <laughs> well, I guess I didn't really think that far ahead. It was kind of like a reflex. I wonder if my face is gonna get all swollen. Oh well. Ai's laughing despite her swollen cheek. You feel her relationship with Ai has gotten stronger. It's something about you, girl. Start becoming eyes, JJ Fish. Let's go somewhere close by. I don't want anyone to notice. Funny, even with a face like this, I still want to be with you. See you again. You talk with the eye at school and parted ways after walking her home. I am home, Nanako. I got some mail. You've got mail. Alright. Why the hell did I go to my social links? <laughs> Hell's wrong with me. Alright. <clears throat> mail. Wizard. Excuse me. Wizard's Mark. Restore 7 to 8 SP at the start of the wearer's turn to battle. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's good. That's great, even. Uh, Eyes not out here, right? Oh, she is. Hi, I. <laughs> oh, it's you. You startled me a bit. I'm on my way home from shopping. Shopping this late at night? It's almost Valentine's Day, isn't it? I have to buy chocolate. Valentine's Day is a good opportunity to get on my teacher's good side. All I have to do is smile and get them chocolate. It's a bit more fancy than the other students. That alone makes them feel good. It's so dumb, but it always works. You're so calculating. Using your feminine whales. <laughs> what? <laughs> you expect a lot. A lot for chocolate. Calculating. Cunning. I like it. <laughs> I prefer to say that I'm good at knowing the ways of the world. Gotta use all the advantages you get. The problem is chocolate only works on male teachers. I have other subjects I need to boast in. Gotta think of ways to repair those. Did I say boast? I'm sorry. I just realized this. I need a boost in. I got to boast then. 
that's what happens with my brain. I'm pretty sure I don't have dyslexia, but for some time, for sometimes, for some reason, when I read, like my brain auto completes words. You feel your relationship with I has grown stronger. Oh. One of the reasons why streaming actually helps me out a lot. I like to read out loud, test, you know, get better at reading. Especially nowadays, because most people don't read out loud anymore. Oh, I gotta go home now. My parents will be worried. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Talking to you is pretty enjoyable. Here's something for you. Here. You received Take anabolic this. gel from I. Anabolic, my bad, anabolic. Ugh. Thinking of bullshit. Antibiotic. <laughs> like when I said fox coming. I didn't say fox coming. I'm gonna look at the fucking replay on that. I'm pretty sure I didn't say coming. I think I think I'm I might have had like a little lisp or something, but I'm not sure. I bought this especially for you. So be sure be sure to use it well. Well, let's go home. See you again. I'm pretty sure I said cunning. I'm pretty sure I said cunning. You saw I home and headed back to your house. Classes have ended for today. All right, I, well, if I was available, she would walk up to me, right? I, hang out with me. Are you free? Well, if you like. Ah, damn it. Damn it, we're almost there. Just one more day, I, just one more day. Come on, just one more day. Just one more day, just show up. One more day. And I got you. You're back. I am home. Work as a janitor. Well, I'm not going to. Hi, Yumi. You can stay depressed over there. <laughs> Probably don't need it, but I'll give myself a little boost. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, baby. Just a little bit. R-E-S-P-C-T Found out what it means to me. Kids nowadays will not remember that song. Ugh. You remember falling asleep in your bed, but you feel more awake than ever. Is this a dream? You think back on your memories of Marie. Hello. Hello. I apologize for interrupting your morning. I thought it would be best to inform you of my progress in search for Marie. I have located her. However, she's in a realm not of that of man. It will be not easy for you to set foot in that place. Please, allow me just a little more time so that I may make preparations. As I have said before, when I am done, I shall come to you. Now, if you will excuse me. Jum excuse. Marie's whereabouts have been identified. You now need to wait until Margaret comes for you. And she will come for me indeed. Yes, sir. God damn it, I, are you not in school? I, I got one more day. I got one more day. You better show up tomorrow, god damn it. You better show up tomorrow, god damn it. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Because <laughs> I believe the fourth is actually the last day for social links. Ugh. There's nothing I can really do anyways right now. Oh shit. All right, uh, head to the shrine. You know what? No, fuck it. I'm not heading to the shrine. I don't know why I went to North Shopping District. I went to go to South. 
You know what? I'm gonna live life a little. Hey Yuki, what you doing? Came to fill up gas since you're here on end business. I could use my scooter to help around at the end more. I don't need it for anything I'm doing today though. But if I don't make a point to ride from time to time, I feel like I forget how. Would you like to join me? When you go out with your friends, time will pass, but your friends will awaken to new powers or regain forgotten ones. Try going with them when you have free time. Let's go! Oh yeah, you can go- oh, nice. You and I head to the hot springs? The hot springs? Just the two of us? Just the two of us. That's right, it's been a while since I went to someone else's hot spring. Just keep in mind that we'll be in separate baths. You're no fun. Well, at least we can all say that out of all the girls, Yukiko has managed to get me out of my clothes. Some way, somehow. <laughs> Came here with Yukiko. No boba? No boot? No titties? Not even a one titty? Not even a one titty. Mm -mm. Hear a voice from the women's section in the hot springs. Um, Yuka? Oh great, we can talk. I'm the only one on this side, so it's getting a little lonely. <laughs> but wow, it feels so open and free here. I guess I'm out here in the hot springs while it's snowing. I just realized that shit. Yukiko, we're crazy. We do crazy things. We have fun sometimes. I guess it's good to go to another Olsen every once in a while. You enjoy the hot springs with Yukiko. I feel like it's time is right for an in-depth conversation with Yukiko. Let's talk about the future. Ah, hmm? oh, the future. Yeah, I guess that is an important thing to think about, huh? You decide to speak with Yukiko about the future. Something changed inside of Yukiko. Valiant Dance. Oh, shit. Enrages all foes. I see no use in that, though. I mean, it lowers your defense, but they also hit pretty fucking hard. And I kind of like her moveset already. Yeah. Eh. Spent time with Yukiko until it got dark and then went home. Yukiko, we will never tell anyone what we did today, okay? Welcome back. Be our little secret. Alright. Let me just... Alright. Want to head upstairs and just check, like, the day won't advance or anything. Oh, shit. Who's calling me for what now? See a text message from Teddy. Movies. Three... Wait, what? Three's a new one out. I want to see. It's called... Wait, what? Oh, threes. There's a new one out. <laughs> I want to see. It's called or Orso. What? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Orso? Also? Oso Rosso. Is it like a spin on Poco Rosso? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Shopping district. Who can I hang out with? Anybody out here at night? Goodbye, Yumi. I don't want to talk to you. Rize is out here. And so is I. Hmm. Yeah, let's live a little. Senpai. I was helping clean the store until just a second ago, but the water is so cold this time of year that it's tough. I'm finally done now. So I'm taking a break. The fox was definitely coming, and no. I don't believe it. There's no way that I said it. Already having an <laughs> in, uh, inseparable bond with Rize. Yeah, but I'm gonna spend time with Rize, you know? Cause fucking eyes out here are acting crazy. Ain't my fault she didn't come to school for like a week. Hey Senpai, it's almost Valentine's Day. You remember, right? Oh, trust me, I remember. I've been thinking all this time about my strategy. I mean, for us girls, this is an all-out war. And there will be losers, Rize. You know this, right? Okay. Hmm. 
To be honest, I'm a little scared. I mean, you're so cool. What if another girl tries to hit on you? Tries? <laughs> Just kidding. What am I getting worked up for? You don't trust me? Oh god. <laughs> I don't want to say that. That makes me feel bad. You're the only one for me. Oh, the silence isn't good. Oh, I gave myself a losing situation. Oh no. I feel bad now. And it's inseparable. I plead the fifth. Huh? Why'd you say anything? You're so mean. If you, if you keep doing stuff like that, you'll end up driving me away. <laughs> Just kidding. There's no way I could ever stop loving you. Alright. I'm gonna make this Valentine's Day one for the books. I love you! Oh, you like hurt my eardrums doing that. So is Squealy. Even more high-pitched than Chie. Somehow. Be so, it'll be so special that you'll never forget. I hope you're prepared. Oh, shit. You enjoy your idle chat with Rize. You feel, a rela uh, feel your relationship with Rize has grown stronger. <laughs> oh, it's already late. But I don't want to leave just yet. I shouldn't be so clingy. I know. Hey, Senpai, I want you to have this. I want you to have it, Senpai. It's a special something just for you. Keep it to yourself, okay? Well then, good night, senpai. Good, good night, night senpai. Rize. Just remember, Rize, there will be losers. There will be losers. Oh, well, I didn't show up, so I guess that means, uh... No advancement for I. So close, too. She was at rank 9. Damn it, I. Why you gotta be like this? So close, too. So close. Hey, Nanta, wanna hang out? Please don't strain yourself. Mm. Let's hang out, Nanto. Very well. It's quite strange when I'm with you. I feel that I'm glad to be a woman. I apologize for saying that out here. Let's continue this conversation in your room. Ooh. Your room. You call Nato here. I told you before. You're too close. Well? <laughs> uh. You passed a long time, <laughs> a long while with Nato. Feel that the tight bond you have with Nato is irreplaceable. It's gotten dark, so you walk Nato to her house. What is the event? It, it can't be the Valentine's Day event. I always thought it was. I always thought it was the Christmas event or something. What is the event with Naoto, where she fucking changes into her schoolgirl outfit for the Yasugami bullshit? She has her female outfit for that. Like, what event is that? Because I don't remember. <laughs> Today I'm studying for my life classes. I suppose it'll help out at home. Uh. Life class? Oh, you mean life environment studies. Yeah. Something that I think should be mandatory in class to teach people how to live, but for some reason the school doesn't think so, so... That's why I took it as my elective. I took accounting as my elective, and then I also took, uh, you know, a uh, living environment. And I learned some wonderful things that has helped me out, despite the fact that I have not gone to college. And I'm doing pretty goddamn good for myself. Once I'm done with this, my teacher said I don't need to study on weekends anymore. What can I help out with? Well, you washed the dishes earlier, so you helped out already. Hmm. Okay. Then, what? that's what I'll write about. Nanako's doing her best to write down her thoughts. When I wash dishes, they get clean. It makes dinner taste good. When dinner tastes good, everyone smiles. That's why I like washing dishes. I didn't know that's how she saw things. Damn, dog. Kinda make me feel like shit now, Nanako. Cause when I wash dishes, I'm like, motherfucking nasty ass dishes. Can people clean their own shit? 
Damn, dog, I'm proud of her. <laughs> yeah, thanks, you. All done. Thank you. Now I'm caught up. Thanks, Dad. And yeah, big bro. Seems Nanako has succeeded in catching up with her lessons. Awesome. Since Nanako has finished studying, you put her to bed and return to your room. Now it's the fifth. That means shit's gonna start popping off. You got a day off from school. What should you do today? Well, I can't hang out with anyone. You received this hex message. It's from Yosuke. Now study and go. Ski trip next week, the 11th. Two days. Okay. I got us a room. We can rent. We can rent boards and clothes there. Let's ace our tests and enjoy the last big event of the winter. Late. You are. N you are now scheduled to go on a ski trip with everyone else for two days, starting February 11th. All right. That's cool. Realize that you haven't bought anything from the shopping program. I'm gonna do that. Done. Selling some good shit towards the end. What do you got for me? Hmm. Okay. Homunculus. And some chess keys. Chess keys will be helpful in the upcoming dungeon, but I mean, you can get them at any other goddamn time, so... Give me that beautiful outfit. I'll take it. Nice. Thanks, Tanaka. You bastard. Motherfucker took my 10,000 yen from me. <laughs> Go out till the evening? I will. I will do that. That is something that I will do. Alright. Well, since we got nothing else to do... Um... Where the fuck... You know what? I'm just gonna... Honestly, I'm just gonna put it here. It'll be easier for me to remember. Hi, Naoto! Hello. Hello, Senpai. How are you today? I must say, it's useful having a scooter. Now I can understand why people living in this area own cars. I just recently filled the tank in mine. How would you like to go for a ride, time permitting? Hmm. Sure, why not? Hot springs? That sounds quite relaxing. We obviously be in separate springs, yes? It's quite alright. In that case, let's be off. My shoulders have been aching for some time. Yeah, I bet they have since the last time we hung out. Ain't that right now, so hey hey. <laughs> the hot springs. You came here with Nato. You hear a voice from the woman's section of the hot springs. Senpai, you there? I can't believe it. I'm the only one on this side. I can completely relax. I was a little wary at first, but I'm glad I took you up on the offer. What are you being wary for, Naoto? It's just me and you heading to a place to get naked together, but away from each other? You enjoy the hot springs with Naoto. I feel like the time is right for an in-depth conversation. Let's talk about the future. Hmm. The future? Hmm. Well, I'm a bit on the fence about it. Bufudine. Ooh. I mean, I'm already happy with Naoto's moveset. Honestly, to be honest, I think I only have Shield of Justice for the gimmick of it, really. Just to show it off. But... If I was really considering it, I would replace that shit with Bufudine and Heartbeat. Uh, no, I think... I think we're good. We're good. You spent time with Naoto until it got dark and then you went home. Alright. Welcome back. So the fifth is the last day, I think? Let me see. Hmm. I thought the fourth was the last day for social links. I guess not. Well, the next... Well, yeah. The fifth should be, because on Monday we're starting the exams and shit. Alright. <clears throat> Gotta go. It's nice. Nice being with you. Thank you. 
Um, I'm actually gonna, because we're getting towards the end of the game, I think this is actually a really good stopping point. We're on the four hour mark. So, before I end the stream though, there's one thing I do want to do real quick. Um, oops, uh oh, there we go. Um, I'm actually gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna head over to the, let me move this out the way, put this over here in a different screen. I'm going to move over to the YouTube community tab and actually I'm going to put up a poll real quick. And I'm going to do that because we're coming towards the end of Persona 4. And I want to let you guys know that I am putting up a poll for uh, what the hell we're going to stream next after Persona 4. And then... <clears throat> I'll put that all up in there. The choices are going to be between, uh, oh, thanks. Thanks, Kabito. Um, <laughs> I tired. Oh, trust me. Get that sleep you need. I'm going to put that poll up. So like, you know, once the, once the stream is done, um, on the community tab for YouTube, you know, the YouTube thing is right there on the screen. Uh, the options are going to be we either continue with uh, the first game in the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, right? Because I stopped in the middle of that. Continue with the Sly Cooper 3 playthrough. Um, start Mass Effect. Start the Mass Effect series. Play Catherine Full Body. And then the fifth one is going to be start Kingdom Hearts, I guess, right? So those are going to be the choices... Or what the hell we're going to stream next after Persona 4. There we go. So, once the stream is over, I'm going to head over to YouTube and put that up. Also, the Pokemon Red and Blue playthrough, that has been completely recorded and edited out. All I have to do is upload the rest of that. So, you know... That's gonna be. That's gonna be coming out later today. More episodes of that for Pokemon Red and Blue. Getting towards the end of that. Pretty close to the end. I might just upload the rest of it today. I'm not sure. And that's pretty much it. Once, once I'm done with that, I'm not sure if I'm going straight to Pokemon, uh, Crystal, or if I'm gonna show off some of the other Pokemon games that came out between red and blue if there were some that came out between red and blue because i think there might have been one for like the pc or whatever if i remember correctly i'm not sure but you know all that shit with the pokemon marathon uh, the nightmare before christmas playthrough has been finished on the channel so if you want to watch that in its entirety you can do that on the youtube channel and that's pretty much it for youtube at the moment if i upload anything else it'll probably just be vods for the meantime but yeah, that's everything I pretty much that's whatever announcements or whatever I have to say. Um quick question though. Did Persona have their fucking events yet? That they were supposed to have this month? Did they do that? Cause I didn't hear anything about it, honestly, so I I, I don't know. There are three events they're supposed to have left for their anniversary that I keep hearing about. <laughs> I don't know if they did anything yet. But yeah, it's going to be it for the stream tonight. Lasted for a good while. I even started later. Oh, another thing I wanted to say. Um, later today, probably around the afternoon time, uh, I'm going to try and do like a little bit of a stream. It's not going to be Persona. It's probably going to be some random game or something like that. Just something real quick to play. Because I want to see if I can get some stream time in around... 4 o'clock for EST, Easter Standard Time. And if you're on the West Coast, that would be like 1 o'clock PST, Pacific Standard Time or whatever. I think it would be 1 o'clock at least. It's three hour difference, right? So I want to try it. I want to try and see if I can get a stream out without any interruptions. I'm not sure what the hell I'm going to play, but it's going to be like a little stream, like maybe, maybe two hours or something like that. Nothing serious. Probably like... Probably like some sort of online game or something like that, like 
Dead by Daylight or some bullshit, right? But there's that that's going to happen later today. I'm going to try and see if I can get a good stream in or not. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So for those who came and watched live on Twitch, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. It's nice to have you guys here and talk to you. Um, if you're, you know, if you find this on Twitch and you're not followed and you like it, maybe follow. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. But I can't promise too many things. Not at this point, anyways. Other than that, a link to the YouTube right there. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, click the bell. If you like the video, click the like button, all that other bullshit. And then a link to my Twitter is right there on the screen. It's also in the YouTube description. It's also on the Twitch channel. So there's that bullshit. And that's pretty much it for me. So, as always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And take care.